Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games, and we continue on our series through all the magical nominated games. Today we are doing part five of, there's so many games to go through, so part five, mm -hmm. amazingly enough, of the nominated games for the fourth annual Atari Homebrew Awards, and today we're looking at the Atari 7800 Work in Progress uh originals and ports okay. so these are the games that are being worked on that are on the horizon nice. Nice, and nice. these are the best of the best as voted by the nomination committee mm. um so we do have 12 games today okay. to go through okay and there's some really good ones so it's gonna be a lot of fun um, Everyone had their drink. I saw someone there talking about their Sam Adams winter lager. So yes. enjoy. And I have a question. And Tanya has a question. <laughs> I do. Well, <laughs> it, it, people, bef when we start the show, they say, roll that. Well, Dan specifically. Dan ABC. And, and also Miss Command said, roll that bean music. <laughs> and Dan ABC said, roll that beautiful bean footage. And we're sitting here going. Beans? Beans? <laughs> Beans? <laughs> I see that every time, Dan, and I always wanted to ask. Yeah, so have I, but I always what forget. What is the reference? Oh, he's on a pillow. Princess cat. I know he's a princess. He's right by the cord, too, of course. He's staring at the cord. Um, so if you uh, feel free to cheers. elaborate on um, bean. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> oh, Miss Command was just... Bushman's Bean commercials. Oh, okay. Mm. We'll have to, Mr. Bean? Are people guessing now? A line, oh, from, line from Bush, Bush Bean Beans. ad. Uh, oh, okay. so it's an ad that we are completely unaware of, probably. Yeah, I've never seen that ad. We'll have nope. to look it up. Yep. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank oh, all the Twitch subscribers. There were some late comers, so I'll scroll up and say their names. Um, Alan the Farms, Garcoda, Atari Age, Big Dog, Susie, Bomberman, BR Pocock, mm -hmm. Buck Owens, Cafe Man 2D, uh, Chow, Chows Donny Mao, Chows Donny Mao. Uh, that's a new person. Charles Whelan, Chive Five, Dino Dan, if you see Jack, uh, Daryl, 1970, Drexel, Dark Moon, Cows, Emu Dan, Fox Mulder, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, One Year Out of Carl G, Kev Kelly, Croco, Lauren TDZ, Mark Spacing, Metal Atari, Mike Muse, Met, uh, Metal Lunar, Mike Soul, Mike Latow, Miss Command. M.K. Smith, Mr. Zonahoo, Mr. Fix, Neo Meaty, or Don Necro, Packrat, VG, Cohog, R. Anschwitz, RC70, Rendered, Ghost, Repentless, VD, Ricardo Pim, Smith, Smitty B, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, The Welshman, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD, and X Can X. And I, I'm not on there. <laughs> no, for, for the second I forgot time to in a row. Subscribe again. That. Oh. So naughty. Yeah. Uh, and Muddy Funster, S. Ramirez, Marco Johannes, and Al Nefer. Yeah, I believe uh, that's a divorceable and, offense. And so. Reddard Ghost, <laughs> no support. Uh, subscribe <laughs> no before support. the show. So thank you, all of you, if you weren't in that list, because you'll be in it next time. Um, so subscribe yes. <laughs> if you haven't. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then you'll see your name scrolling down there. Synchronized multiple Twitch names, so they form lyrics, lyrics to, to a song. song. Yes. Yeah, it would have to be like "We didn't start the fire" song. It'd have to be right? A B C D. Like it, each word would have to be in alphabetical order too. Because you do it alphabetically. Yeah. I, I can mix them up so they match better. Oh, that sounds rhyme. like a challenge. Yeah. Go, anyway. Go for it, somebody out there. <laughs> go for it. That's too much work. <laughs> um, so oh, if you'd like to support the show, click subscribe. If you just want to be alerted when we're on live on Twitch, if you're watching mm. on YouTube, um, just uh, follow us on Twitch. Mm. Uh, I do have a poll question for everyone out there. Let me cue it up. Start the poll. Is that going to work? Oh, it did. Yay. How many of the Atari consoles do you have out of the 2600, 5200, mm. 7800 Lynx and Jaguar? Do you have one of them, two of them, three of them, four of them, five of them? I put them so you could just prick one, two, three, got four, them five. All. Or, yeah, five, got them all. Or six, emulator only. <laughs> I really doubt this crowd would have zero of them. But you never know. Somebody yeah. out there might nope. be just really interested. Mother three said six emulation only. Oh wow! So, so some people, it's some people, it's hard to track down the old systems, right? It is in good condition. Yeah, or they're just not willing price. to 
throw the money into it and they just want to play the old games. So and, that's and, understandable. And it can be yeah. challenging to hook up to newer televisions. Because I see too. that question asked on Facebook all yeah, the time. I just got too. an Atari. How do I hook it up to my 4K TV? Uh, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Well, <laughs> multiple ways. Yeah. And I will direct you to this forum. <laughs> uh, XCGS yeah. is uh, console-ish. It came with a keyboard. I'm not going to consider a console for this mm. for this poll anyway. Mm. They're pricey now too. Some of them, some yeah. of them can be pricey. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yeah, oh, I have to put mine in. I don't have a Jaguar. I don't have a Lynx. Okay. So my vote is three. How many do you have? Zero. <laughs> Zero. I have. I. I. I by share. By proxy. By proxy, the three you have. Uh, yes. So okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. CGS is a, is is an extension of the eight bit systems consoleized, but mm -hmm. it has a keyboard and it has a yeah, and you can plug in disk drives to it. Like it is a computer. It's a repackaged computer, mm -hmm. really. Uh, no mail. So sad. Um. Actually, I wanted to give a special shout out to the viewer who sent me who sent me an uplifting private message today. Yeah. Uh, the zero page homebrew and the Atari Awards take an enormous amount of time and mental energy, as you may know, hmm. uh, to put together. And sometimes you start to feel burnt out. Um, it's a lot more work than what you see on the streams or in the public area of the forums, because um, I message with developers and viewers all day long about a variety of things. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm also constantly organizing future shows uh, with developers and creating graphics for the shows, like mm -hmm. the stuff you see before the shows, um, uh, for the show and events all the time. So when you get an encouraging message like that I got today, it makes it all feel Good. a bit more worthwhile. Good. Uh -huh, and that people are appreciating the effort you put into that I put into the community. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the show is a way for me to give back to all the incredible work that the developers put into their games. Mm -hmm. That's why I started the show. Mm -hmm. um, because I didn't see a show out there that uh, honored all the homebrew games. Yeah. So uh, I'm not doing the show to garner praise. <laughs> I do it like because I find it fun. But it's always nice when you get some uh, nice some feedback. Encouragement. Yeah. yeah. So thank you That's very good. much to that person. Yes. Um, on to the news. Ricky and Vicky. I like uh, just mentioning MK Smith's comment. Tanya lets James use her ret her retro uh, game true. systems. That's yes, true. That's, they uh, are in her house. That's true. They yeah. are in my house. <laughs> <laughs> um, on Twitter, Retro HQ posted Ricky and Vicky on the 7800 game drive no audio yet that's the next job so ricky and vicky is now successfully working on the up-and-coming sd based sd card based uh multi-cart mm -hmm. for the 7800 ricky and vicky which has only been able to be played in a bup emulator uh, right now so that is amazing um but like i always say the devil's in the details down in the comments I'll get back to the 7800 RGB again before long. Mm. I'm developing the game drive and the RGB in tandem to a large degree, but having to deal with the whole chip shortage thing as well. I'll have to figure it out when it's best to move the RGB to a different FPA. I'm guessing it's supposed to be FPGA. Uh, or maybe not. Maybe I'm ignorant of what FPA means. So that is awesome. That... Uh, Retro HQ is working on an RGB output for the 7800. Mm. The S video is very, very good, but there's slight shadowing on the S video yeah. out, which yeah. is fine. It looks really, really good. Yeah. But RGB looks ooh, yeah. so good. <laughs> so good. Oh, thank you for all the love in the chat here. Mm -hmm. Very appreciated. Much, uh, very much appreciated all you do. You make it look easy he does and make polished. It look easy and polished. I prepare beforehand yeah. to make it look smooth yeah. during the stream. Yeah. Um, There's a lot of preparation that goes into the stream, too. Um, so, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, GD7800 is going to be a must-have. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yes. It's going to uh, It's going to have a dev mode, too, mm. like Dragonfly. That's awesome. Um, same reason I do Harmony Games to celebrate the 2600 Homebrew Games. Next year might be including 7800 games, as I mentioned to James on Facebook. Mm. Yes. Um, nostalgic, yeah, you definitely need to get a multi cart for your 2600 or 7800. Mm. It makes it so much easier 
Especially when you want to play the new games that are coming out, like yeah. the work in progress games yeah, and we're playing tonight. All the binaries that come up that yeah. you can't really get a hard. Yeah, they're not out on so, cartridge yet. Yeah. So that's the only way to play it on. On the real hardware. On the real hardware. Yeah. I mean, you can play it on an emulator, but real hardware is pretty cool. Uh, plus card. Yeah, there's there's a lot of solutions for the 2600, which is mm -hmm. great. The Uno card, the plus card, the Harmony. Um, so let's go to this news. It's posted yesterday, just barely yesterday. TAA Tracker Plus, a continuation of the TIA Tracker. Mm -hmm. Rush Jet One, who's an amazing musician on the 2600, uh, one of the best. Uh, hey, I'm making UI changes and improvements to the TIA Tracker and thought I'd start it up under a new name. This takes the undo redo fork that Lone Star had made last year and combines it with my fork also made last year that improves playback uh, accuracy. Yes, Rush Jet did the music for Tire Tracks and Daredevil. Nice. And Daredevil is one of my favorite tracks ever made on the 2600. It's so good mm -hmm. it's doing amazing things that are seem impossible in the 2600 um so here's some of the features that rush jet one has put into this adds undo redo functionality uh it adds the ability to click and drag envelopes instead of clicking each one improves engine playback accuracy much closer to having to being 50 60 hertz um, I still have a lot of UI improvements I want to add. I made a list and need to clean that up. Not sure how many I'll get done and as, as I've never really done visual C++ stuff in any real capacity. So here mm -hmm. is what it looks like. So I downloaded it. There we go. And uh, loaded up a track. This one's called speedtest.ttt. Oh, D-O-K-S-A-E -S speed test. Is this going to work? I freak out. Of course it's not going to work. What the hell? <laughs> Weird. Let's, um, let me try and open. Oh, what the hell? Weird. One second. Let me try and open this track again. Uh, Troubles. Let me try and open it. It's Probably because audio changed. Um, and now it's like, ah, oh, I don't know what to play. Okay, let's try it again. <laughs> oh, I, I have to actually load the program again, probably. That makes sense. Oh, the trials and tribulations of it all. <laughs> Doing things live. That's the fun of it, isn't it? Okay. It doesn't matter again. how many times you practice it before you go my... live, too. He has... Is he biting your knee? Yes. <gasps> no. What are you doing? Okay, now we've got it going. I'll put it, it full looks screen. A little... Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Right. So, you can see all the instruments okay. on the left there. Nice. <laughs> Need more cat bell. Agreed. <laughs> more cat, cat bell. More cat bell. Atari has a hunger for treats and the only... What is it? What is it? The only solution is more cat bell. More cat bell. Um, so you can <laughs> see the tracks going up and the two voices there. Oh, kittens. Oh, kittens. Yes, that is correct. And we'll play some music in the background while... I try to get some treats. Oh, thank you for following. Oh, somebody. Uh, Atari <laughs> 1974. Oh, thank named you. after him. Yeah. Uh, so let's listen to another track. Uh, Ball Blazer, which we played before on the nice. show. Nice. A little quieter. Treat time! Ding! Of course, you guys can't see this, but you got, <laughs> got to see it a bit. You kind of see how it works. Um, and in the program, he also included all of the Ricky and Vicky TIA tracks. Oh, nice! Um, so let me load up Misery. Got 
Gotta ring the bell if you want more. Funny how things have come full circle. E early TV was all live, now TV is mostly pre-recorded, and our entertainment on Twitch is live. Mm -hmm. It's true. The circle of life. I know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> So anybody that uh, is an aspiring musician or is a musician or mm -hmm. wants music in their games or just wants to make music on make a very, music. very old sound chip, one of the oldest, um, can download this new uh, new player. It's very cool. Um, so you can see on this tab here, there's all the instruments. You can do a pull down of the instruments and see BAS. You can um, <laughs> adjust the volume. Atari's adding some some sounds into your into your composition. Adjust the frequency. Yeah. Let's make it go up and down. Let's make it all warbly. Nostalgic is putting together the fact that there's a ding at the end of the ZPH title music and the ding that the cat makes. Oh no. <laughs> That's probably why he's so hyper at the beginning of shows. Yeah. Um, then. There's, Not intentional. <laughs> there's your percussion. There you there's go. It's only a snare. There, you can watch him eat the last one. Uh, you can even watch his tail go out of frame. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's a very, very cool program. Nice. Um, you can see all the info on that Looks one. Like a lot Four of fun. patterns, one percussion, six instruments. Let's open one more. Um, flame. Go back to the track. Ooh. Oh, maybe not this one. <laughs> that one's a bit harsh. Let's go story. Isn't that what I just loaded? No. Oh, it's just no, a little bit different. A little different. A little ta different take on it. Look at all the white space area. <laughs> well, I've got it stretched across a full screen. Yeah, the full screen yeah. of your TV. So it didn't quite fit on the half screen. So yeah, I had, to, I had to do this full. Fair enough. So very, very cool, especially for people who are uh, musicians or programmers. Mm -hmm. uh, so let's go back to the main screen. Mm -hmm. Boom. Shut that down. Um. And that is it for the news. Let's get into the games. Yay. So um, I just wanted to make sure everyone is aware that while we're playing these games, um, you should definitely play them yourself. Um, and don't rely on our playthroughs. Um, and don't let us influence yeah, your nominations. Your, your, your opinions. Yeah. Yes, these are our opinions. We're saying. Yeah. Um, so definitely play these games yourself because mm -hmm. we have to, we have to blast through them. Mm -hmm. And we've played them on a lot of them or all of them on the show before. So Previously, if you want to see yeah. longer playthroughs, go back to the old shows. Yeah, yeah. And, you, and you'll listed. get more detail and you'll see more levels. And yeah, because we're not going yeah. into the instructions, the backstory yeah. and stuff. We're just we're just playing through. Kind of games. blasting. Yay! Nostalgic twenty six cents. Yay games. Games indeed. Get to the games. Oh, look at that dragonfly. The dragonfly. See, the output's really good mm -hmm. on S video. Mm -hmm. There's a slight bit of noise on darker colors, mm -hmm. but it's very, very good, especially when you compare it to RF or mm -hmm. composite or anything like that. Okay, so first we're going to be doing uh, Atari 7800 Best Work in Progress Homebrew Original. Okay. So these are games, like I said at the top of the show, that they're being worked on. So they're not completed. Not done yet. There's still more to come out. And yeah. in fact, some of these games, there are builds that have been put out after this because the cutoff was yeah. December 31st. So there might be so, a January build that has more. Yeah, because right? there's been yeah. a month. Um, some of them haven't been updated, but some of them have. So um, if you like these games, you may want to go check in the forums for a newer version. Mm -hmm that might have updates or fixes to bugs that are we're going to show today. <laughs> uh, because these are the works in progress. That's what you have to kind of keep in mind with the works in progress. Mm. Um, so the first one up is Bernie and the Cubic Conundrum by Muddy Vision slash Lewis Hill, who is Muddy Funster, who is in the chat today. Mm -hmm. boom, boom. <laughs> that squeaky noise. He squeaked, he didn't like Oh, you okay? Yep. Ready? Just 
the couch. Smacked down. The couch slamming. Bernie! Bernie! Yay! Yeah. Kittens! Kittens, it's Bernie. Bernie and the Cubic Conundrum. This is a very early alpha build. It has glitches and bugs. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Even has a horning in it. Are you going to go after Bernie? Yes, congrats again, again to all the nominees. Exactly right, S. Mm -hmm. Ramirez. Uh, demo 25th of December 2021. Um, save Kira Tarivox detected. Yes, because this one has speech. It does it? Yes, things. it does. Oh, there's Bernie. Poke him down. Freaky. That was freaky. <laughs> I don't think I noticed that the last time. We oh, it was very subtle. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Uh, Money Vision. Oh, that oh, is so cute. So cute. button maybe <laughs> bernie oh very balloon type i like it lettering very nice so this has multiple players two players two players fighting um i think there's a co-op mode gonna come out too i'm not sure there's different um modes that's easy that's hard um this is language <laughs> This is kids' language. Naughty beer language. Naughty beer language. Um, and you can pause these if you want to learn Cheers. about uh, the game. Because we went through it last time. No credits yet. Let's start it. So this is like... Influenced... It's a Qbert style game, kind right? Kind of qbert -y. Yeah. I mean, you change in the fact that there are cubes and you change the colors i love his mouth <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and i think oh. last time he said that the mouth is not a final don't move up ah. yeah. um is not a final thing that's a placeholder yeah um because he's not going to be like in surprise mode all the time okay you're gonna go to the right thank you Ooh, go 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 Round away. so the enemies move in go 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 Yay! Yes. So I don't think there's any sound in this one right now. Because mm -hmm. um, the work's in progress. Oh, and it says what color. Look at, look at the Bernies on the side. They're, oh, dancing, they're dancing the whole time. Grooving. I can so imagine cute. like some funky music playing mm. or something. I wonder what kind of music Bernie likes. Okay, which way are you going to go? Mm. Right? Or left or down? You're going to go left. Oh, that guy can go over. Can hover. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm gonna die. I was almost forced Aww. into. It. Oh, it turns into a gray lump. Boom. The ball enemies we'll will try to hurt you. Oh. Oh, nice. And then the 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 bomb. Oh. oh, there's some voice. And then the bomb guy goes straight. Well, it doesn't go straight. No, for he you. looks for you. He yeah. he looks. I think Look if you're him. near nearby, he'll go after you. Oh god. You. Oh god. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Challenging. I it's challenging. Yeah. Oh, toasty. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, your turn. Marco Johannes. It is incredible. The two hitches I encountered needing a cons con set consistent. Okay, play, play. Consistent set of instruments between tones and TAA trackers output process would pick instrument different instrument indexes based on their first appearance in the track rather than holistically. This means between different tunes and instruments were mixed up. What? What happened? I fell off the top. <laughs> oh no. Flap, flap, flap. Flap, flap, flap. I feel like oh. Oh, what oh <laughs> it's a work in progress. But he's back on track now. Oh, he's gone. Oh, well, you're lucky. He's running away for you. Actually, he didn't appear in the first round for me, I don't think. What are you doing? Oh, he's back. He goes for a wander uh -oh. sometimes. So do you. <laughs> Holtastic. Only one more to go. There you go. Oh. Taking the roundabout Yay, route. Yay, just in case. I do enjoy the messages with the loss of life. It's nice to get a laugh out of the loss and shout nostalgic sense. I think so too. Ooh, risky. Risky. It's always risky because you don't Oh, they're together. Nice. Fall down the hole. Kittens. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. That's a very cuberty sound. No, no. Can you get him? 
<laughs> He's being naughty. Naughty cat. Naughty cat. Game over. Ouchie. One more for me. All right. So what did I make it to? Just the second level. Pathetic. I didn't do very well. I got to do better. Everyone's like, ouchie. <laughs> Oh, he's taking a trip over there. Mm. It looks like there's a player one and player two score, so you can go two player or maybe uh, at some point. I don't know if this not in this not in this feels... version, but uh, I yeah, like that. he's planning to have two two players. Nice. Be you can use select to skip levels on the title screen. Ooh. I think. Yes. Oh, oh, okay. Hi, analog. Naughty kitty. He is a naughty yeah, kitty. Is. Uh, I like that noise. My That's good. Okay. <laughs> Don't go up. There we go. Yay. Cute game. Played it a bit on the A7800. Yeah. It is super cute. And if you look on the thread on the Atari Age forums, mm. um, he's got some woolly um, Bernies. Mmm. Uh, go, 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 go. Ah! Taking too many risks. Too many risks. Oh, yeah, the away. bouncing VH said C says I uh, the bouncing animations is so cool, and I go, go, go. I like the bouncing and the fact they bounce on their shadow. Yes. So it's not just the ball, but the effect. shadow gives it a nice kind of oh. Um, mm. gives it a nice kind of um, texture or something. I don't know. I, I, like, I like it. I'm like rushing through, but I don't need to rush because there's no time limit. So I'm like, oh, no. I gotta go, I gotta go. And well, so you want to see the next level. But it's true, uh, I don't want to die. No. Oh boy, we're hurting. Oh. They are hurting you. Ooh, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm very in trouble now. I'm dead. I have to wait for. A... Nope, dead. Damn it. <laughs> so I still only made it to cube two. Let's try and skip some levels. Select. Round two, round three, try oh, round three. Yep. There you go. So this is still, I believe, changing just one color. Um, not sure if he's going to implement. I think he said he was no, going to implement. We definitely played a version oh, that had two colors. Yes. And they would flip back and forth too. Right. I remember oh, that oh, too. Oh, it's my chance to get through. But we are playing on. Well. I don't know if it's easy or hard mode. Not doing it's well. In beer mode. I don't know which. Oh, that one. the beer mode is for what he says. What he says. Gotcha. Stupid. Why did I do that? Well, you, they're they're hurting you. I know they are. They're doing a very good job. Okay. I'm gonna go to the right. Oh, sure. That works Yay. for me. Yay! Cube four. That's on later levels. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Go. 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 Ooh. Oh, don't. Ah, see? He's you very don't cute. want to do it. He is very cute. Oh, go, 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 no! Shouldn't on down. Of course, the ball was there, too. Boom! Boom. <laughs> the kind of good thing about the bomb character is you can almost be guaranteed where. <laughs> They're going to yeah. go. I like Revan Tooley's suggestion. Maybe a black and white mode with French subtitles and <laughs> existentialist quotables. <laughs> that works. Oh, I made it just. Bernie in time. Noir, Muddy Funster Bernie says. Noir. Yes. 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 Black and white mode. <laughs> or it'd have to be gr it'd be grayscale. Oh, now it's turning. Oh no. Uh, now I'm in real trouble. That's really funny. Can Bernie? Can, can you put um a beret on Bernie? For black and white mode. Oh, so good. That'd be, that'd be awesome. So, awesome. Cool game. Yeah, very cool. I love cool. it. <laughs> it cures your uh, 45 degree angle issue with Qbert <laughs> that you have trouble with. I th yeah. it, this might be an answer to Qbert <laughs> when you said on the show, like, ah, oh, 45 degrees. I don't like the Now 45 there's no degrees. excuse. Uh... No excuse. <laughs> Bernie and the unbearable lightness of being. Yes. Okay. The next game we have yeah. Ready. is Canon in D, D for Defense by VHZC Games. Vladimir Zuniga. Mm -hmm. VHZC. Okay. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.
I did. There we Ready. go. Canon D. D for defense. So this is the 7800 version of Canonica. Nice. It's very Mega Man. Whoa. Jeez. Ah! Oh, whoa. Did you survive that? I, I, I'm not oh, this, sure. This one, ah! Oh, this one has um, not lives, but it has... <laughs> No. Oh no. No, I'm terrible. I always get caught in the corners. It has hit Not points. in the corners. No. Clear pa oh, these oh. are angly ones. <sighs> Bernie reminds me of the gargs <gasps> off that Commander Keen. Oh, oh my yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let's try this again. Yes. Look at that. Good evening, 48K Ram. You definitely need to check out some of these games. All of these games. The newest build changes up the enemies and patterns a bit. Yes. Have we? Uh, no, the corner is a bad place to be. I don't know if we the new one on the show. I'm not sure. I seem to remember us playing the new version on the show before. The, these are all the pre-2022 versions. Because that's the ones you have to judge them on. Oh, oh. Ah. Oh, my goodness. Doing better than last time. Oh, my gosh. Scary. Yeah. This one is not even in beta, so there's not much context content yet. Just like 17 or so screens. Uh. Oh, oh. oh I got rid of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. Bump. Oh boy. Yeah. On some of these waves, you have to clear a path, or you will get hit. Oh, one left. Ah. Great game over the screen. CDs. The killer CDs. <laughs> the killer CDs. Broken down cannon. Nostalgic. So, 17 or so screens is not too much content. Not too much. It's, <laughs> it's challenge uh, enough for now. So Mega man -ish. It's so nice, though. So beautiful. <laughs> Looks like this is... Oh, games that start too hard. No, <laughs> it's not too bad. No. You just have to get used to the patterns. Like, you did way better in your second round. Oh, yeah. yeah. I lost a... Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, they didn't get me. Amazing. Yeah, sometimes you get lucky. Yeah, you have Just... to shoot one and move out of the way on, yeah. that, on this one. Very cute. Love how everything has eyeballs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're all sentient, which makes it sad. Sadder. <laughs> all... Oh, uh... Uh... The corners. No! <laughs> Oof. Just barely. Nice. nice. Oh, the killer CDs. Oh, they keep coming. Killer CDs. You gotta break them up. <laughs> Watch your angles. Oh, I made it. Ah, ah! no! I missed the one spot. That had yeah, an opening. Yeah, the far right yeah. is, is the opening. Which there. is nice that he gives a spot. Yeah, well, there should be. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, boss time. You have to hit. Oh, my God. Hit the middle and then stay out of the way. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, got it now. And down. And down. left now nice oh ah! 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 no, <laughs> no breaks <laughs> they come on fast Oof, just no oh i've got one hit point left need a power up oh second boss and dead. and dead. <laughs> ah. first one is queen of spades i like that oh very they nice have opera base names just because nice yep. Why not? Anybody working on anything Atari for the 10-line basic competition? Oh, is there one coming up? Mm. Okay, one more game for you. Given the comments, uh, both Bernie and Cannon start out too hard. I wonder if that's the trap that developers can fall into if they get... I have heard that. Mm. We're div that's why um, you need better you need to see other people play your games. I think that's true, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. I think you can get too good at your own game. Yeah, I think you can. Because you know all the patterns. Um, you've played it so many times. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, that was terrible. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, he didn't get hit. Carl G says that's what happened to me with Space Game. Ah, yeah. so it does. It does happen, and I've heard it. I've heard developers say that before. Beta testers are invaluable ah! because you get so close to your game, and I find that with making f films too. You need outside perspective. Someone who hasn't who hasn't watched it before, who hasn't played your game before, and you get to see the game through their eyes, mm -hmm. and they might even play it really differently than you. Yeah. And you go, whoa, I never thought somebody would play it that way. Ooh, two left. Ah, one left. Ah. Ah. Good stuff. It's a good game. Developer and Hester are often the same person. Yeah. 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 Super fun, super fun game. Okay. Next one is Dragon's Havoc mm -hmm. by Todd Fermansky. And... He just re released an update to this. Nice. Which we won't be playing. <laughs> Not right now, anyway. We'll be playing it after we get back. I think I've scheduled it already. Oh, in the schedule. Very good. Yep. Ready. So, Dragons Have It by Todd Fermansky, uh, a.k.a. Revan Tooley, I believe is in the chat. Yeah, I saw yeah. him Revan early. Tooley. Yeah, right there he is. I'm playing. I had a watch that played this tune as its music to wake you up, as its alarm. So, if I remember correctly, you can build up, yeah. um, dra not by holding a button, by, by just by hitting things and not by missing them. And you can build up your strength. See the thing at the top? Mm -hmm. So if you don't fire, Gets harder though. And then you get super firepower. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, nope. nope. Back at. Nope. Kitties. Nope, 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 nope. Turn around. There you go. Ah. So Revan Tooley loves dragons. Loves dragons. So luckily, dragons are very versatile. They can go in mazes, they can do matching games, they can do. Shooters. What other dragon? They can do races. <laughs> yeah, the parallax scrolling. It's awesome. As you can see along the bottom, all the things are moving at different speeds. Oh, you're getting hit. Ah! Ah! <laughs> this is so nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I love the extremely bright backgrounds, too. Yes, very nice contrasty It really um, has a characters. bit of a... Oh, demo over. Demo over. Um, has a real slightly kind of psychedelic kick to it that I like. Yeah, I like very that style. bright. Yeah. Oh, you can continue. Do you want to continue your game? Oh, no, no, you play. No, okay. You play. Yeah. I'm going to start from the beginning. Parallax scrolling looks really good. Yeah. Nice. Hole is closed, so you'll have to summarize oh, that. Yes. After, See, I've after got super, this game. Superpowers. Nice. Oh, you're red. Oh, now I missed. It's very hard to keep it because you can't miss. And I've lost. <laughs> very nice. But you move faster mm. and you fire faster when you have. Two players alternating or together? Oh, there is together? Is okay. there? I don't know. Someone asked that question because I think um, it showed two players. I think it might. We can try it. Together. Ah. I'll have to unplug the Atari box. Yeah, we'll have to try it. Revan Tooley, if you can answer that. If it's together, we'll we'll play a together game. Yeah. Two players simultaneously, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do that, that then. Yes. I like it. Just to show it off, we'll do that the next game. Oh, got the fire. superpowers. Oh, lost it. Superpowers. You Look still at that. have see, them. See how fast? Yeah. You move around. You turn into like a fireball. I love it. But you have to be very stingy with your bullets so that you don't miss them. Yeah. So it's hard to, to not miss. Super careful. It's not too bad to maintain it if you if you're pretty careful. And count your bullets. Mm. 
And no, see, I've got superpowers. <gasps> Going into the next level. <gasps> Woo! Stage one, two. It is a very cool game. I love shooters. Oh, I've still got it. Nice. Oh, just lost. <gasps> so what was the uh, game we were playing by Revan Tooley last time? Uh, it was the dungeon I've uh, got the maze. name Dragon's Descent. No. Dragon's Descent. Dragon's yeah. Descent? Yeah. I recognize that spinning... Um... Oh, and there's the skull head. Yes. Um... I want to say the like drama sign but it's drama, not what it is it kind of reminds me sign? of that you know like the happy sad drama sign oh, the, two, the two masks thinking different kind of drama yeah it, it, it vaguely reminds me it's not obviously not what it is but it reminds me of that a little bit so it's like a really I've ever done. A, a really angry drama student <laughs> Dragon's Descent Roguelike Dragon's Cash Puzzle Drop. Mm. Yes. And don't forget your Dragon Racer game, too, which is a really fun. You, you race around oh, the outside. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And I think that's only in 2600. Oh, boss time. Oh, my God. I don't remember. Did you get to this when we played don't it before? I don't think so. Oh, I got superpowers. Yes! <gasps> Very flash. Demo over. Okay, we'll do a quick. We want to see it with both of them Two playing, players. so yeah. that's cool. You gradually speed up as meter rises. Gotcha. Yes, yes, very, very nice. Mm. Gets you fast. Mm. Esther Mir is saying they that they actually didn't get their first Atari Four Switch until two thousand and eight. Oh. <laughs> it's quite late. Demo patterned. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. yes. Okay. Go to main menu. Two oh. Uh, oh, restarted. Sorry. Uh, you. Uh, I can't. It's no reset yet. Okay. I have to start it over. I am red. Tanya is blue. Cleaning up. Two players. It's harder. It's harder to get the um, the power up because yeah. you're hitting each other's. That's true. But uh, and you don't when don't know when they're going to disappear because you're both. Oh, forgot what it was. Ugh. What am I? I'm red. Okay. <laughs> I've made that mistake. Ah ah ah. Ah. Ooh, I don't think I got hit. I love two-player simultaneous games. It is fun. Ah, got hit. So, great job on that. We'll play this till the end of the level. I'm just it. clearing the screen, helping you out. Stop it. <laughs> I think we're... We did it? Yeah. Yay! Yep. Awesome! Ah, super fun, fun, super fun. Think about an RPG. Very, very fun. Dragon RPG. <laughs> uh, so the next game is Night Guy Quest for Something by VHZC Games. Mm -hmm. Vladimir Zuniga, VHZC. Mm -hmm. There is the knight getting ready to fight. Do you want to do it? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Either way. Okay. I'm popping up my wine. So. Uh, okay. Well, that's important. It is important. Is there something in the room? I thought there was a... <laughs> thought there was a chest with the sword. Oh, I think I'd go get it over here. Ah! So there's levers. 
Now this is quite a departure for VHZC actually. I'm not okay. Um, because it is, oh, I think you have to exit the room. Oh, stuck on him. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> well, I defeated him. Dragons and more dragons. Dragons verse. Ooh, yeah, that would be good. Because most of his games are like 2D and this is more of a 3D game. Locked. Ooh. Oh, I have to press it twice. You got a sword. I'm not okay. Yeah, that's hilarious. Go! Now I have a sword. Ah, ha, ha. I'm undefeatable, except by these guys. <laughs> the sword doesn't do anything to this guy. Yes. Creepy. Creepy. Is VHC in the chat? Yes. Yeah. Oh, awesome. VH well, I don't I'm know if okay. in this moment, but what? Yeah, yeah, I haven't seen him in a bit, but I'm yeah. not okay. Leave me alone. Because <laughs> you go back, he has multiple things to say. Oh. There's one more. I feel kind of dead. Yeah. yeah. I think he has three. Yep. So we can't pass those. Nice. Another fun game from VH that's Yep. Anything here? Nope. Still nothing. Oh. Does he spit anything? Nope. There we go. So it still has all the hallmarks of the VH that <laughs> C game. But a bit of a bit of a twist. A bit of a RPG twist in the in the kind uh, the dungeon crawler kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Hi kitties. Hi. What do you what do you want? So you can see in the inventory. There's lots of room for stuff. Oh, nope. Let's keep that off. Another switch. What are you doing? He is so needy now. Why are you so needy? Oh boy, oh. this is actually quite challenging because I remember those this go one. in. Oh. oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> that was a good a explosion. Oh. oh. Now what do I do here? I think I'll stay here. Oh nope. my god. <laughs> I'm not gonna make and it. And dead. Oh. Up and down. What are you? What Up. are you doing, you silly cat? Can I do that? Oh, I can. Can you? Yeah, oh, you can I run can. into him multiple times. Oh, oh damn just it. make sure you hit him with your. Definitely at the top yeah. is. At the top's good because it goes very close to him at the top and then out. Yeah. Guy in the title, check. Skull, check. Dancing flames, check. Spikes, check. check. Yes. Yeah, the death animation is like little exploding guy. <laughs> <laughs> no matter how you die, he always explodes. Oh. Oh. It's time for my quest. Oh no, health. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly what I needed. This reminds me a little bit of um. Oh my god. What, is, what was it called? What was that oh, game called? God. Of okay. his? Of VHNC? No, it's a it's a Nintendo game. Star Quest. Oh, the one you like. Star Quest. Something Quest. Got a key now. Oh my gosh. I can hear the I can hear Quest. the title music. Da, 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 what it what is it? Enough. What? Oh no, what do I when do? You can re when you can re recall the music of the video game but not the name of the, the title itself. Master Blaster? No. Oh, it's killing me. Anyway, that's okay. Not strong enough. I did push it before. Hi, kitties. Maybe I have to have 10 hit points. What is that game? What is that game on the, on the Nintendo? Where you throw a yo-yo. Throw a yo-yo? Throw a yeah. Yo-yo. Mm. You yo-yo the bad guys. That's what you start with. That's your first weapon. Oh, somebody will know now with that hint. <sighs> Why? Why? Goonies. Star Tropics! That's the one you Thank like. Thank you, Star Tropics. When, when I said, oh, is the da, one you like? Da, 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 you said da, da. no. It is one I like. Yeah. What did I say? Did I say no? Star yeah, Tropics. You said, you said no. I Not love that one. game. Love it. I bought it for you one Christmas. You, for the you NES. did. You picked it up for the NES. Yeah. I had that, yeah, for the NES back in the day. Oh, oh, this is different. Yep. So there is some backtracking I needed to do. Ah! Behind. Nothing there still. Oh, there's a locked door. I'm so stupid. I have to go back to the locked door. Leave me alone. <laughs> Reverend Tuli, this game also needs to have a mode where Night Guy is a single blocky pixel. <laughs> <laughs> 
2600 mode. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh, yes. There you go. Don't get hit by the cannons. Oh, oh, ah. Oh my goodness. Oh yes, you have to defeat this guy. Oh, can he only shoot diagonals? Oh, oh my god. Oh, exploding. <laughs> shoot, stab, shoot, stab, shoot, stab, shoot, stab. Oh, actually he's, oh. oh <gasps> no, no, I, no, no. I remember that last time where it just. The, strong gauntlet. The, the strong. <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. Nice. Okay. Good for that one. Yes. Time to move on. I think on. we've gone pretty far. Yeah, you can check our other video for. I think we. I went think we, we went as far all as the we way could. To the end, I think. As far as we could. Yeah. yeah with the demo. Yeah. Uh, next up is Ninja Sky Perilous Island yes. by VHZC Games. Yes. Vladimir Zuniga. Oh, Vladimir Zuniga. Yeah. Oh, so this is um, a continuation from his game Peril. Yes. Where you fly in a helicopter. And dead. <laughs> first, first obstacle. So let's uh, name all the hallmarks. Run, <gasps> jump. Ah. Ah. Oh, <laughs> this is terrible. You can do it. Has shooty things. It has the spikes. Ninja Sky have all the content program, but I need to do some engine optimizations. Ooh, very cool. Yeah, you have to use something from one screen to get to the next screen. Crashes next to Akari Warriors and run into Pitfall Harry. Pretty much. Yeah, same universe. Oh, too far. Because the Kari Warriors beginning has a crashed helicopter. They both get out of if you're nice. playing two players. The water. Oh yeah, that fishy. I remember him. He's got the spiky teeth. He wants to bite your ankles. Oh! oh! <laughs> Game over. Old VHC gamers know where the copter's from. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's correct. Ninja Sky Perilous Island. He's in the spotlight. Ah. I love that. that look at that beautiful her helicopter. It's on fire. Get out before. Oh, you oh! can't die. <laughs> that's hilarious. That is funny. Oh, VHC. <laughs> that's great. I didn't think it would kill me, but I was like, I bet it, and maybe it does kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to see. I don't uh, think I've ever Carl walked G into said that. scared the carp out of him. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor carp. Yeah. That is funny. That is a dad joke if I ever heard <laughs> Think the fish is a carp? Yeah. It's a very sharp tooth carp. Oh. Sharp tooth carp. Sharp tooth carp. My uh, nephew, uh, when he's he's a little older now, but when he was really young, um, when my sister asked what he wanted to be for Halloween. Um, he, he, he said he wanted, he said, I don't care. It has to be a sharp toothed animal. So that was the joke. It's like <laughs> just a sharp tooth, just animal. a sharp toothed animal. <laughs> Doesn't matter what Could he loves. A... Sharks love, love, love sharks. But I just thought, <gasps> it. I thought that was hilarious. Like a sharp tooth animal. Sharp tooth Atari. Sharp tooth Atari. Are you a sharp tooth animal? <laughs> yes. Yes. Especially yes, when he you bites are. your knee. It's like, I can't feed you unless you get ding, ding, ding. Yeah. You must know it. Look at him. He's so, oh. Yeah. He's so needy. He's so expectant. Yeah. Oh, before the show. Oh, we've created a monster. Somebody subscribed. Yeah. Created a monster. And so it made it the robot sound, the robot voice. Yeah. Like zero page homebrew subscribe or whatever yeah. it says. Um, yeah. And Atari went nuts. Oh, really? Because just because it was a robot voice. Really? Oh Not, my God. It's treat time. It was. Nope. Oh, that is so funny. You can duck. Oh, oh kittens. Yeah. We have created a little cat monster. Ah! I don't think I have. No. <laughs> 
Nostalgic says, if I was in a helicopter crash and ran back into the burning helicopter, I might expect to take some damage. Yeah. Oh, oh beautiful. Oh, oh my I goodness. I love this. So beautiful. Oh, got him. You have to get... Oh, uh, ah! Yeah, yeah you, you have, have to, to go alternate back sides, right. I think. Get it? Oh. I like that, though. That's, That's a really huge. good mechanic because it, it does make Keeps it you moving. challenging. You don't want to get trapped in a corner, so always move out a bit. Oh, you're what? timing. Oh, well at the beginning. Don't, don't just smack it. You have to time it. He moves so up and down. There, there you go. go. He bounces back, too, which is oh. interesting. Oh, oh no. <laughs> you're not exactly safe in the corners. No, you're not. There. Oh, <laughs> just barely. Shurikens, please. Hearts, please. Thank you. Fun fact, the body of this ninjish guy and the body of Ursulo, Ursulo of Game of the Bear are exactly the same. Oh, isn't that funny? Really? Just the, sh the body is. The body's the oh, same. The head's different. Oh, funny. What if ninjish guy is Ursulo in a ninjish suit? See, that's how you continue on from ninjish guy to Ursulo the bear. <laughs> he rips off his nin he's ninja outfit bear. and he's actually a bear. Oh, just one. Um... So you have con a complete continuation of all the characters. A door is open somewhere. Yeah. I love that nostalgia. <laughs> so we'll go to the door. And we'll stop there. More hearts, please. More hearts. Oh, more shuriken. I'll take those. I've got five lives now. Good. Oh. Oh. We have to push it. Oh, no, it's the door way back. Mm -hmm. So I'll go to that door, and then we'll, then we'll stop. Or vice versa. Maybe he's a furry. <laughs> oh, he puts on the bear suit. Yeah. Oh, that is, that's, oh, that is very, very funny. That was close. Bad timing. Uh. It would be, you take a ninja to be that spry in a fursuit. <laughs> True. <laughs> Gotta keep an eye on those furries. Yeah. That's funny. Ow, 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 Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fish. Don't forget about the fish when you go back. You just wait a bit. Mm-hmm does go at the same speed as you, so as long as he starts going, you're fine. Mm -hmm. You're safe right at the beginning. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. jump till a little bit in. Mm -hmm. And he's not on this screen. Oof. The spikes. big spikes scare me every time. Even me though too. you can totally clear them, it's like, oh, you have to be pretty close. the door and down to here good job all right yeah i think the demo ends very soon at the after end of that, that. Yeah. yeah okay very cool yeah so, thank you thank you for joining revan tooley thank you so much and awesome game yes very good luck in the voting mm -hmm. uh so the next and last game in the original work in progress homebrew is space peril awesome by carl garrison carl g <laughs> Who's in the chat as well? Space Peril. Simple. Oh, different modes, normal, random. Oh, play random. I don't think I've played this game before. Really? I don't rec recognize oh, the- I think you've played this. No, I don't. Oh, what, what am I doing? Oh, well, let, let me play it. Let me play it. Oh, no, maybe I have. You have to get things to open things, to open things, to open things. And then you things. go through, it's like yep. mazes. Ah, and... the darkness. No, don't go in the darkness first. I think I do remember this now. Actually, I might. take it back. Yeah. Oh, no. Did you change? Oh, now you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, yes. Things. Yeah, I, I told you not to go in the darkness. <laughs> Let's reset uh, the game. I've forgotten. Yeah. Let's just do simple. Yeah. So, there you go. There's the green thing. 
it's a game adventure, but in space. That is a perfect description of it. So, like adventure, you you have weapons, you have keys that mm -hmm. open certain doors, um, and there's certain things that neutralize other um, other things. That's a big maze, if I recall. Yeah. Um. So don't go in the mazes yet. So that's there's another orb, I think, or is that the edge of a? That's the edge. Yeah. I have a green transponder, so right. that's what gets you into those spaces. Well, that's, yeah. Laser cannon. You need the laser cannon for uh. the maze. Because things will come after you. Mm -hmm. So now you need to go to the maze, I think. Yeah, so there's now the you laser can shoot. cannon. We definitely need that. Screen connections are weird in this game. You enter from the top, move to the right, and return, and you're somewhere else. I think that's the darkness. Nope. Okay. Oh, it's not the maze either. The land of rocks. No. Yeah. It's 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 a kind of a screen memorization game. Uh, fire a magic missile into the darkness. Yeah. There. Now that guy's done. Can I forever. touch that? Forever. Yeah. 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 So you can go in there, but I think that's near the end of the game is yeah. this, because you need something you to get past that. You need the transponder. That. So when you have the right. transponder, blah, 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 the transponder, you can get into those spaces. I no, remember oh, this now. No I remember this vividly. No darkness in simple mode. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it a lot better. Because you know how I feel about darkness. Dark mazes. Uh, <laughs> painful. How I feel about <laughs> Cubert. <laughs> Yeah, this it, it, it does wrap. It is kind of a maze in that it's not always obvious how yeah. to get into. Left doesn't go to right sometimes. Yeah. There, now we're out. Yeah, because there's mazes that kind of wrap around but don't come out the same same place. See, because now that you've used that green orb, you don't need it anymore because you've got the thing that was laser in. Cannon. The green area. Now, I know that's another tricky area. Oh, I see. I think you might need to go in there. I think you're right. I think I do. Because I remember you have to go into the maze to get the transponder, possibly. Yes. But there's something in the maze that will kill you, so you have to be ready. Oh, there's something that flies away with items. Yeah, I'm not sure. In, is and that you don't want to lose that it. thing in simple or? I'm not sure if it is or not. Yeah, simple might be more straightforward. Is there a game, genre of game mechanic Darcy doesn't like? Mm. He doesn't like. Mm. Darcy's pretty... He's pretty open out most games. Yeah. I don't know if there are any games he's... I've heard him express a dislike for. He's not... I, I don't think he's great on platformers. I'm not sure. I, yeah, I haven't seen him play many platformers. But not liking, I don't think I don't think that would be the word possibly that you would use. We an ice we need an isometric game with darkness plus Darcy's kryptonite to get the trifecta. Oh my goodness. How would you do an ice yeah, there are because there was some chat in the seventy eight hundred forum about why nobody has developed an isometric um, kind of RPG-ish game because there's a lot of isometric games mm. made in the um, 80s. Okay. Where it'd be a, like a room like that, and you would okay shoot shoot that dude. Yes. Okay. That's what you need. Now how do I get there? This maze is a very good maze. I got to give props to Carl J because it's it's maddening. So there's the pink one. Yeah, I haven't seen. Oh, don't get it stuck in the wall. There, don't touch it. The attractor, so you can pull oh, things Oh, this you. is just the attractor. Yeah. But you need the attractor to pull something out of a wall. Uh, I've never played too many isometric games. I know I saw a lot on 80s computers. I'm glad the walls don't come. And I didn't, I didn't play too, any or too many on the C64. I usually gravitated... Oh, you, you make it sound like we're killing you when we pick you up. <laughs> Just because you don't want to do it, but then you're happy when we pet you. He's happy when we feed him. Yes. Uh, cat hair. Um. So, we're oh oh, you don't have the bullet. 
Uh oh. <laughs> Didn't see that guy before. No, he wasn't there before. So we're playing around with our TV, and it had a new TV. Old our TV. new TV. Yeah. And it had you can install apps like everything has apps now. Mm -hmm. Everything connects to the internet. So it had its own streaming TV app. And when you installed it, it installed a bunch of, you know, free channels or advertise, advertising um, sponsored channels, I guess. Yes. Oh. Channels that, sh that play advertising when, yeah. you, when you tune into them. Yeah. So you're going to get that thing again? I don't yeah. know. And then shoot. I would do that. I would take care of that guy out there first. Stop it, you bad cat. So it had a channel on it that is the distributor of my movie. And so we're just, because we're flipping through the channels and it's like, oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. nice, nice. And so it had the channel of the distributor of my movie. And I said, oh, I bet my movie's playing on it. And as a joke, because you know, mm -hmm. they, have, they have literally thousands of films on, on their oh. roster. And we tuned into it and it was playing my movie. Seriously. The chances of that are like infinitesimal. And we thought, oh, is this an internet channel? Is it like, oh, you might like this. And it's playing. No, it was in the middle of the movie. movie yeah, it didn't start from the beginning. No. It was like in the middle of the movie. I could Very not. Very odd. I could not believe it. We were I laughing was, so hard. I was totally joking. I think you can put some. Oh, you made it. <laughs> I think it's not worth the effort. Hard to design a nice isometric game and not much of an appeal to the gamers nowadays. I think you might be right there. I don't know if the attractor is what you need here. I don't know what, what I need. Because I think you need it when you get inside. But you can drop it off there at least. I don't know if you can. Yeah. Yeah, you press the button, it drops it off. Or your second button. I think. Yeah. Oh. So I would leave it there because oh. you need it inside there. I think you're right. I think you do need it inside. Anyway. And it goes on like this. Yeah. You just keep exploring and yeah. seeing where you can find things. It's a really cool twist on adventure. It is. It's like adventure in space. And and, like and the walls said. don't quite wrap around the way they're supposed to. No, nope. so you got to... Like, look at this. I keep, <laughs> I keep going through. Yeah. Yeah. But then you go up and then you suddenly exit. There. Maybe I should keep the scavenger bot even in simple mode. Mm, that. Oh, what's my movie? Oh, the scavenger bot does does kind of allow you to swap things out. It does oh, because it brings movie. things to you sometimes. Oh, uh, I no, I wouldn't put it in simple mode. This is a good tutorial almost. It level. is, yeah. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> that poor uh, kitty. My movie is a documentary called A Perfect Fourteen One Four. Yeah. It's a documentary about plus size models. Uh, that's not a thing, is it? That red? No, no, that's, no. that's, that's the edge. That's an edge. Just kind of pokes, pokes Ooh. over. Yeah. Um, the main maze can be mapped out. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You probably yeah. have to do like arrows that wrap around. Oh, 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 oh I'm on there this it is. side of it. I was. How did I? Orange Ooh. transformer. Orange now you have to find the orange room. Orange. The void has its own rules. Easy if it you know. It does. I like it. It's pretty hilarious. But if you follow the walls, yeah. you'll be able to go Fine. through everything. That's the green thing. The other the one, other one I found is the pink one. So. Okay, you're done. Smack. You're done. Okay, we're gonna move on to Atari Seventy Eight Hundred Best Work in Progress Homebrew Ports. Mm. So you may have heard of these games on other platforms. Okay. From long ago or from not so long ago. Very exciting. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Oh, did this one use a paddle? I think this one uses a paddle. This is Arkanoid by Matt Smith. M.K. Smith, have you played your Atari today? Almost every day, actually. Mm -hmm. AtariH.com. Uh, controls paddles, yes. Of course, Arkanoid uses paddles. <laughs> what am I thinking? You fool to use a joystick on Arkanoid. Very challenging. Very challenging. Have you played these types of games with a joystick? They're not 
fun. No. They're bon not bon great bon. with the paddles either, but <laughs> they're fun. They are fun games with the paddles. Oh, S. Ramirez fading fast. Been up since 2 a.m. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. That is a long time to be up for. Yes, have a, get a good night's sleep. S. Yes. S. Ramirez. That sounds you can like watch a it really, later. really, really early morning. Whew. You were just going to show how many controllers this supports. <laughs> Which? This? <laughs> Uh, so there you go. The era and time. Oh, Ooh, did, did you that. press the button? Oh, did it skipped I? something. Nope. Oh, it's just really fast. Okay, you know the story of Arkanoid. Yeah, they're it's like the blah blah paddle. blah. You know. Yeah. Is it me? Is that you? No, nope, I don't. Not I'm me. not moving. Are you moving? I'm not moving. Nope. Oh, there you go. Oh, you, just you, have to find... you don't move. I didn't start that. What's going on here? <laughs> I think you clicking the I button or something might have messed me up here. There, you need the uh, lasers. Laser, shoot, 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 shoot. So, I think it was on the last show or the on show on before the where somebody was talking about this being a vertical shooter or something. And that, and I said, oh, there's lasers in Arkanoid. I can't remember that. Oh, oh is the sound really low? Yeah, it's each, not very loud for us either. Each actually. game has its own volume. Yeah. So. Kittens. He's he's there with the cord there. He doesn't really chew these cords. What Sometimes he does. No, he was pulling on it. Yeah, he's a silly cat. He's a bad cat. Ooh, I like the little one. I'm not great at this game. It's fun, but yeah. It's fun, but uh um you would think it might be easier with the joystick but paddles give you ultimate control over where exactly the paddle is oh that cat oh he's, he's coming up here he's a, such a bad kitty you're a bad kitty okay where's my center there it is sticky oh i want e ah no <laughs> Oh, what's P again? Oh, three. I missed it's it. the three, I think. Okay. Arcanite's such a classic game. Oh, yeah. C. What's C? Slow down? No, C is the sticky. Was it a C? Yeah, lasers. I don't know. Give me the lasers. Actually, I like E better. Because... The wide? Yeah. yeah. It's just easier. I mean, even though L's good at the... Oh, why did I get that? L is good at the end of a level when you when it's hard to hit it yeah but not right now because at the end it's really hard to um mm. p hit. extra life player oh. d disrupt split into three uh, okay mm. so that's three and i can never keep all them. Of them it's like when you play um <laughs> pinball and you get extra balls you're like <laughs> just overwhelmed <laughs> too much going on at once and then you lose them all all three of them all, all at the same time Oh, well, back down to one. Give me my E back. Calm so, I mean, kitties. Calm. visually, this is like, this is Arkanoid. And, and auto, like, what's that? Oh, yeah, I'll take that at the end here. Like, the visuals and the audio are, it's, it's it Arkanoid. You wouldn't know yeah. that you're not playing the arcade yeah it's great. history time yum 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 oh yum, it's treat time yum 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 oh my goodness you know jumping up <laughs> oh he's content he's so happy i know because i've been penning you go you, you want food what are you doing <laughs> how about do you want some um catnip do you want nip instead of <laughs> yeah i think he i do you think he wants catnip oh, i'll take that what's the thought catnip or treats s, s for slowing it down oh one more hit one more hit you hey. want some catnip? Well, that was a good cry. I think he does want catnip. Okay, I'll let you ring the bell and we'll put out some catnip <sighs> for you. Level one done. Yay! Okay. Catnip. Crazy catnip. That's what I, oh, good. It got in. <laughs> Nostalgic. Poor Tari has conflicting priorities. Lap time or treat time? <laughs> lap timer. He did. I was surprised. Yeah. He was content with the lap. He was like, I don't know if that's what I want. Okay, you ring the bell. You get this huge pile of catnip. Okay. <laughs> Can roll around in it. Ring the bell, kitty. He's like, ring the bell for catnip? What is this craziness? Okay. There you go. Time for some crazy catnip. Oh, okay. Missed it. 
Oh, it's got lots of lives. That's awesome. Nip time. Nip time is correct. Oh, I missed oh a my duplicate. Gosh. Did oh, you yeah, see what he just done. did? He just, he, he just knocked it all over on the, on the carpet. Oh, nice okay. job, there kitty. Now we're going to have to bring out the, the, the vacuum after that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness, Messy cat. cat. Well, he might eat it all up. Well, he is eating it. We so you should be able to see him in the kitten cam rolling around like a crazy cat in a second. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> What's C? Oh, I can't remember. C? Ah! Sticky. C oh. is the sticky. I I, I, sticky's good in very specific mm -hmm. situations. Like there's an opening you need to get through. Like at the beginning of this, C would have been okay. But I was able to get through each time, luckily. Ugh. Lasers would be good right about now. Give me some L's. L! Um, the background just vaguely reminds me of like the tiled backgrounds from what? Windows 95 or 98. <laughs> yes. Except normally it would be in a slightly tealy kind of look, but, uh, or the one that I always had on my computer. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but that's what it reminds me of. L, please. L. L. Cat, you made such a mess. Just dumped it over? Is that what he did? It's dumped all over on the floor. Oh, kittens. How could you? Oh, it's sped up. Damn it. Look at him. Now he's rolling around. Game. Yeah. Oh. Awesome! <laughs> I've never been able to make it as far to see dough either. Um, that's like a big head that floats around. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yes, you do need to get back to Arkanoid. It's so awesome. Yeah, and fun. I mean, it works great. Yeah. Uh, Flip over to the kitty cam yes, for a second there. while I'm getting things arranged. Yeah. I actually rearranged my consoles as well. Yeah. So there's the cords are tidied up a bit and i've got the switcher there as well yeah uh next game is uh also by mk smith uh who's in the chat Excellent. uh attack of the petsky robots by chunky pixel games matt Excellent. smith mk smith and mike sarna revenge uh, originally coded by david murray yeah atari is about to rearrange the entire room <laughs> he's rolling around in catnip right now I'm guessing Carl G. The ball close collision mainly, but a few things. It looks pretty good, the Arkanoid. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, um, if you are in the Facebook group for Attack of the Petsky Robots, mm. um, a couple days ago they posted a some screenshots mm. of the development of the 7800 version. It's looking really good. Mm. It's all in color now. I mean, they posted in color before. But it's like really colorful now. Nice. And it's looking really, really nice. This is just black and white, right? Yeah, this this, this is an early version okay. of black and white, but it's the um, award version um, that was nominated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sorry we don't have the colored version to show it's running so well. MK Smith says yes. So hopefully soon we can do it on the show. We can mm. show off the color version. Mm -hmm. It does look, it looks so good. Oh, he's crazy. Yeah. Let's roll around. Let's show that cat. He gets so happy. Yeah. And he starts cleaning himself incessantly. It's like, <laughs> yeah. just so happy. Yeah, give him a second. Give him a yep. second before we flip back. Give him another roll around. Yeah. <laughs> just mellowed out. Oh, there we go. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm just rolling. <laughs> lick, lick, random, random lick. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Can't play this with uh, paddles. Can't see the Atari pooch, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have redeemed tree time. <laughs> oh, that's just Atari. He's happy. He's, He's a so happy, happy cat. Happy you did that. Yeah. You get to see the full bright orange belly he has, too, because he's quite gray, but all orange on the underside. So, this is the most difficult version. <laughs> Easier and medium. Oh. So we'll do easy. And you can select maps. One, uh, two is the headquarters, three is the village, four is the islands, yeah. five is downtown, six is Pi University, nice. seven is more islands, Wow. eight robot hotel, four forest is Forest moon. moon, wow. I think we looked the at that The forest one. moon of Endor. Let's go yeah. look at the forest moon. All right. Um, and start the game. So, with, uh, there's more button control in the new version, mm. and you can do more in the new version. Yeah. But the right button searches. 
Mm -hmm. and there's a weapon in your... <gasps> Yay. So that's good to have. And the left button shoots. So if you hold down the button and then point a direction, it shoots. So let's follow the path. There's some water. Let's go find a building to go into. Yeah, I'm really impressed by these tile graphics and huge maps. Oh, yes. it's huge. Really 13 impressive. 13 levels in the colored version. There oh, are three wow. added for the C128 version. Oh, and you're able to include wow. them. That's really, really That's cool. That's amazing. So in this one, you can't push things yet. Mm. Um, but you can search and look around. Oh, can I go in here? Yeah. So there's doors that you can just walk through if they don't have a symbol on them. That's really cool. If there's a symbol, you need a key. So you can see down the right-hand side, there's a key. Mm -hmm. It's your health. So I'm going to search the bed. Maybe we'll find a key. Nothing. Let's search the table. Some things you can search, some things you can't. Very impossible mission -ish. Very. Magnet. <gasps> Ooh, so magnet. magnet can move things. It can hold robots in place. So you can shoot them. Nice. <laughs> um, you can't use things in this. Version. No, not yet. yet. No. no. Early, oh. early stages. Early stages. Let's search a toilet. Oh, you can't. I think you can search that. Yes. Under the cabinets. No, nothing. Let's see if we can find... Ah! So that's a robot that shoots you... Oh, oh. my God. When that's it's... not a wall. That's a half wall. Uh, yeah, oh, I, you can shoot over it. Yeah. Which means I can shoot him! Shoot, shoot, shoot. Okay, I won't bring my health down too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can shoot. No, you can shoot through. <gasps> oh my God, he killed me. You lose. <laughs> Two minutes. 19 robots remaining, 14 secrets. Difficulty wow. easy. Let's go to a different map here. Death Tower. That doesn't sound too hard. Unless you can get a second magnet mm. on them when they're initially going crazy by the first, mm. yes. Okay, so this is Death Tower. Death Tower. Oh, can't, can't get... go in there. So you can see there's a, a spade on the top. Right. There. So that's that means that you need to find the spade key first. Yes. Mm. Let's look around the whole building because mm. sometimes there's more than one entrance. Uh, no, nope. the whole thing's locked down with spade keys. So that means it... oh, hello. The robot's just doing its doing its patrols. Has oh, it... let's get my actual weapon. Nothing. Oh my goodness! Not always. They're not always oh. there. Yeah. No. Nothing. Oh, no, we also have the on-screen map in the colored version, fully oh, yes. live and moving. Wow! Oh, I'm very yes, excited that's... for for the updates. That's right. I forgot that was one of the screenshots. Oh, no path here. Mm. Always in Ultima, when you see a path, oh, always go for it because there's always going to be something down the path. Mm -hmm. Hey, we can get in. We don't have a weapon though. But so let's maybe we can try and find a weapon first. Oh, can we search these? No, didn't think so. Is that it? Is this? Oh, I think the weapon's inside because I think that's maybe. everything. I didn't go too far north though. Hmm. I think so. I think that's it. Let's go inside now. Now that now you can see a key, because we've got mm. a key. Let's go to the entrance again. Now it opens. Very nice. Can you search chairs? No. But you can move chairs. If to you block... have Yeah, I don't think in this version you no. can, but yeah. But in the in the full version you can move chairs to kind of block um, robots. Read the chat. Oh yeah, this is a port of David Murray's game that was made on the PET, Commodore yes. PET. Yes. Um, that's why it's a port. Which is, in a sense, a modern game. It's a new game. Yeah. So, uh, I I don't know if I want to redefine what ports are hard to define. Yeah, they are. That's that's yeah. the bottom line. Yeah. Um. So, oh, I've got a magnet. Mm. So I'm. Oh, and they, these are teleporters, I think. They're not active. I have to turn it on. Bad guys. So, 
I have to figure out narrow down ports because this is a this is an odd. It's a port case. of a homebrew in a way. Oh, time bomb! It Ooh. it's a port of a game for a system that was made after the time that the system was made. Oh, there is a lift. Someone is saying just above. Oh, really? There's a lift. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Ah, because it's a tower. Still don't have a weapon though. Yeah. I, ah! ah! <laughs> <laughs> I like how it's black and white, but everything goes red all of a sudden. It's like yeah. I'm dying. <laughs> Splash of color. Yeah. Well. Yeah. I'm gonna search just a little bit more, and then we'll go up the the, the, the elevator. Lift. Or the lift. Depends if, if it's British. Or if not. it's British or Australian, possibly. Yes. Yeah, we don't call them lifts here, even though we're descendants uh, of We're a little bit British. of everything, so that's okay. Oh, too. Oh, see, you, you can go. flip. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, let's go to the top and probably instantly die. Ah! Oh, teleporters are how you end the level, but are only active once you have defeated all the robots on the map. Oh. Gotcha. So you have to kill everything. Look at Ooh. those angry, angry Oh, you don't robots. want angry ones because once you, once you Move those release out of the them, way. they'll go right for you, I think. So this would be a good thing to use a bomb for. It would be. Possibly. Oh, a helipad. Yeah, Commodore ah! Pet was the first yes. version. Ah! ah! <laughs> They're mean. I think these are the ones that actually actively go after you. Yeah. Yeah, There's ones that do patrols, you. and if they see you, they're like, oh, yeah, I'll, I'll that shoot. That is a murder of evil bots. <laughs> Not a murder of ah! crows, a murder of bots. That one's cut. Ah! ah, he can go through walls, I think. Yeah. Yeah, watch yeah. him. Any gun. Any gun. Mm, nope. I'm going to go back down. If ever you visit Vancouver, at Let's the end of two. the evening when the sun's setting, and you're driving on the highway... All the crows fly oh, yes. across the city to go to Deer Lake Park and Burnaby. And sometimes you're driving and it's just more crows than sky. It's in, it's it's kind of, crows. of crazy. Like it feels really ominous. <laughs> Should I go in there? Uh, he's going to get you. We, we have to move on. So True. Ah, and dead. And then he dances over your body. A murder of See, robots. Myself. Yes. It is a good name. Uh, okay, next game. The Searching Reminds Me of Impossible Mission. Exactly. That's it my is, feel too. I yes. like that. A cog of robots. Yeah. Cog's more of a singular thing, though. A cog in a machine. A machine of robots? I don't know. Next game is Ghosts and Goblins Swarm? by Chunky Pixel Games. Matt Smith and that's not Ghosts and Goblins. No, it's not Ghosts and Goblins. <laughs> I don't think I loaded it. There we go. Needed to press one more button. Swarm of robots. What not bad. Else? What else? Not bad. What else? Swarm. A fleet. A fleet, maybe like a fleet of ships. A bite of robots. A bite. <laughs> With a an war? I or an or a Y. Uh, a well, bite. I think it might have to be a Y. Yeah, I think it might. So, um, you want to play first? You, you play first. Well, you play first, and then I'll play. Yeah. This is pretty... Wait, how do we so, jump again? Other button or up. Try it. There we go. Okay, thank you. I couldn't remember. A swarm, a fleet, fleet of robots. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so this is Ghosts and Goblins. Um. I believe it was modeled after a new... Oh, I hate it when you won't go up. Go up. <laughs> go up. There you go. Thank you. you got to get right on the ladder. I hate that. Oh, so precise. That's how they were. I know. I know. I know. Um, so this, I think, was modeled after C64 updated version, if I remember correctly. A roboton of robots. A volt of robots. Ooh, a volt is I pretty I think good. that's the winner. I think that's pretty good. So you're a naked knight. I know, I hate it. When Running oh. around. Ah! <laughs> I meant to jump into the next scene. A craft of robots. Maybe. Oh, I did not move backwards. Nope. Nope. Oh. I found falling on this. <sighs> Makes it a little bit easier. Main character needs a suntan. Well, he wears his uh, armor a lot. Oh, 
I just feel like I'm gonna... Oh my <laughs> gosh, I always <laughs> jump down holes. <sighs> down the hole. That's, That's armor, armor, not skin. armor, not skin. Well, it was skin for a little while. <laughs> the main character needs a suntan. Agreed. Yep. Yeah, He's been in the darkness of the Ghosts and Goblins world for quite a while, though, I think. Look how dark that background is. Yeah, it's not a it's not a lot of uh, sunshine going no, on in this world. Sun. Yeah, he looks like a redhead. Yeah, he does. No, he's got a red beard. So yeah, yeah. agreed. So do the uh, go um, <laughs> yes. the zombies too. They look pretty fair skinned. Land of redheads. Yeah. Where's the most of the redheads from? Are they from Scotland. Oh Ireland? well, I would s that area. <sighs> Northern Europe is probably <laughs> Northern Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Northern Europe. Uh -oh. Very, very specific um, uh -oh. genes for red hair. So. Yes. Even the birds are gingers, yeah. He looks like a redhead, so being pale is an occupational hazard. Yes. <laughs> oh my god, that was close. Oh, no! They do bounce you back. The Conan complexion. Yes. <laughs> Love Conan. Love yep. Conan. Oh, no! I got to sit it's in... It's old school. Uh, I, I got to watch Conan taped live. Yes, early Conan. 1993. <laughs> When I was a teenager, my high school went to New York City. <gasps> oh, you got to oh be gosh. careful. You get bounced back um, on a on a band trip. And they told us we were going to watch a TV show taped live. And Conan hadn't, hadn't even been on the air for a season yet. You didn't even know who he was. So we all thought we were going to see David Letterman. We were really <laughs> excited. And then we showed up and it was Conan O'Brien. And no one knew who he was. Like, Who's this fool? And and we were we were like this, I would say about Armor. thirty teenagers in the audience of the show, completely disappointed. Like, who is this tall redheaded guy? We, who is this guy? I'll never forget that the show was amazing. He was hilarious, um, but no one knew who he was because he had just started up. Give me my key. Uh, Conan yeah. the Barbarian instead of Conan O'Brien. <laughs> I, when you say redheads and, and Conan, I, uh, Conan, Conan O'Brien, man. Yeah. Is that the end? Uh, of the demo. Of, oh, the, of the work in very progress. very nice. There's no key. <laughs> no key to get through the door. So I can, I can jump around. I wonder if I can go back. You watch Murderville? No, we don't have, I think it's on Apple TV and we don't have Apple TV. No. I want to see murder. No, wait. I'm thinking of something else. No, mur no murders in the building. What is Murderville? <laughs> Netflix. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know Murderville. Murderville. Sorry, I, I got confused Murderville. between the two shows. No, that's the improv one. Remember we saw a little bit on that? Oh. That does look interesting. Yeah, that does look interesting. Premise. We just found out about that the other day. Where it's one person knows the script. They invite a actor who doesn't know anything it's about Will it. It's Will Arnett. It's Will, Will Arnett. Arnett. We like, I like, I love Will Arnett, so. So, uh, Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, one of my favorite games but is a very hard game yeah i mean yeah i, I made it look kind of easy i got yeah. pushed back but it gets really hard i've never finished this mm -hmm. game not even come close to it uh, at least the nes version that i played or the c64 version uh next game up keystone capers by muddy vision lewis hill mm -hmm. muddy vision the improv looks good and uh what is that Australian comedy TV show used to do the same? I just assume all the best ideas on American TV shows came from British ones. Yeah. And they, they did, <laughs> Which is often the case. And they did say that it's from a British show. You have it? We oh, used it. Oh, is it? Poker Murder Detective is? And used. Ah. I, believe, I believe they said that. Yes. Okay. Um, Keystone Capers. Go for it. Muddy Vision. Muddy Vision. There you go. Reproduction. Uh, code, graphics, sound effects. Bobby Clark, Synth Papalooza did the pokey music. Matt Smith, MK Smith yes. did music support. And Bethany Hill, additional artwork. <laughs> Keystone Capers by Gary Kitchen. Mm. 
1983 Activision! And there's all of the things I just said. And people recognize this so good. as an Activision game. I think the, one of the highlights of my life was playing the 2600 version, getting the patch, and having Gary Kitchen watch uh, watch the stream. Watch me get my patch and congratulate me on getting my patch. It went back. down! He has to be already on the floor. Shh. Can I go down? No, no I can't. I have to use the elevator again. Why is he going down? Because he doesn't, he stays on the floor. He's not going to go up to the floor that you're on. But I thought they, oh my goodness. Nope, no, wait for the elevators. There's no other way. Oh, really? Yeah. <gasps> I thought he just continued to go up, stay up. Like he just ran away from No, me. no. No, no. He's, he's got a little bit of, a little bit of smarts going on. No, he's going back down to the bottom floor. Is he? Okay, so you want to go down to the bottom floor. I don't know if you'll make it in time. Though. Yeah, yeah, you should have enough time to make it. Do it, do it, do it. Yeah, because he'll be, he'll be right near the elevator. Go, 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 go. Get him. Get him. <laughs> that How come he can go face. down? Uh, yeah, it's, agreed. It is, it is the rules of the game. So if only go get up a level then. If you get ahead of him, he will turn around. I know that, but I didn't realize he went back down. He has to go somewhere, right? Oh, okay. <laughs> Sometimes the elevators... Are in your favor. If they coincide from where you are. But if they don't coincide, just go for the elevator, uh, escalators. You know? Yeah, so he always runs away. So if you were to go up in that elevator there, he would turn around as soon as you reach that floor and then go back down. I wasted so much time having to wait for it to come back around. I thought he would go up, but he didn't. No. I didn't think he would start going back down because there's an, a, a whole other level there. He's, he's got some strategies. Not much, but he's got a he's got that. There's no <laughs> Robert behavior is consistent with the 5200 version. Yeah. Um, because there are limitations on the 2600 version, he will do certain things on certain levels. So don't go up to the third floor. Go no. up to the second. Just go up one. Oh my god, it's so slow. Yeah, just a little bit. Um, so if you're on the same level as the escalator, he will bump up automatically to the next floor because there's not enough because uh, Activision didn't like flicker so they work so you're not able to have the escalator and you and the crook on the same level so he goes boop, automatically that's yeah Mighty Funster says the elevator is an indicator telling you the direction so you don't so it's going down right now so you don't have to wait so long you can tell right away Tiny ragtime music. <laughs> Makes your pause. It's going up. And um, there's a thing with the 2600 version that the elevator is continuous. Even oh, even when you, even when you reset the 2600, like reset to a new game, the elevator is in the exact same spot as when you reset it. So that you can time it up so you get the first five levels where the elevator's totally in your favor. And it's timed perfectly when you mm -hmm. arrive. Mm -hmm. That's how I got my patch. <laughs> I, I remember us playing it and I yeah. was just blowing through it because once you get the um, elevator synced, it really gives you a huge advantage. RC70, the ad indicator is the top right, left, right thing. When it's on the left, it, this is your left, 
When it's on the left, it's going down. When it's on the right, it's going up. Oh! It's too early. I like that the music doesn't stop or reset. It just keeps going. It keeps going. It's just a continual... Piano player is not going to stop for you. That's very true. <laughs> he's, he's got music to play. Perfect timing. Good time. Yeah, only on that screen, because you only need it on the uh, elevator screen. And you have enough time as you're approaching it to kind of look at the top and then see where it is. And that's a good hint, too, is jump on the escalator so that you get that extra half second mm -hmm. I don't know if it really helps oh, it you does. all that much. It does. Well, it helps you about a half second. However. And on the 2600 version, the obstacles are never on the same level as the robber and you. Because there's, again, not enough sprites. So as you're chasing him, right, yeah. you kind of get free levels. Oh, you have to go oh, down. Yeah, it's too oh, hard. I don't like that one. Too hard jumping. It is hard jumping. to know exactly where to duck to. Oh, it's going up. Yeah, it gets harder. <laughs> duck! <laughs> duck! That doesn't kill that. you. Oh, it just it starts takes you over. Time away. I know, it's no good. The double balls are going to be reworked a bit, but that's like a level 10 problem onwards. You know, level 10, it gets really hard. I've been dancing in my chair the entire time, RC7 says. Down! No! No! Oh, I didn't no. mean to go down! <laughs> uh, just wait. Wait yeah. it out. That's all I'm gonna do. Yeah. There he is. Oh, you can change the music on the title page. Excellent. One more. Seven. Six. Mm, no. I don't think so. No. Not gonna happen. Ooh, maybe? Oh, not with this thing. Oh, you got that. Forget it. Oh, you get one more chance oh, in this level. Four seconds, there's no way. Yeah, it would've been. Where is it? Boom. Boom. Nope. I have to do one more over. I guess they would follow the same path. So they do. If you watch, you, you can, have to know exactly where to duck. Go where the pillars are. Yeah, I, I always kind of forget. Have to watch that. Yeah. Yep. Good timing this time. You caught it with your hat like a hacky sack player. Yeah. <laughs> boom, yeah. Boom, boom. There was a hacky sack video game. Was there? It's part of California Games. I'm not Where surprised. they played uh, unusual games. Uh, surfing, hacky sack. Is there <gasps> surfing? A little further. BMX? Oh my god. I can't really remember the California Games. Oh, there's roller skating. What? Oh, did he run out of time? No, he hit me. I think. I mean, that's a... Frisbee. Half pipe skateboarding. <laughs> See the elevator on the mini screen. Was it called Footbag in the game? That's Foot hilarious. Bag. Is Hacky Sack like a trademark? I'm I guessing? wouldn't be Just like Frisbee, right? Yeah. Disc. What is it? Disc. Frisbee is no. is flying, flying disc. disc. Flying, flying disc. disc. Yeah. yeah. So that's like that's so trademark. Bouncing balls give me trouble too. Mm. The enemy, uh, the crook, reminds me of the guy in Bagman. Mm. He's always he's carrying a sack in Bagman. That's a weird game. Mm. Yeah. Oh, hello. Switch from down to up. This music also used in Domino Man. I've heard of that. I don't know what Domino Man is. K. 
can't remember the story. Why is the cop picking up bags of money? I'm guessing it's left by the crook? And you're like collecting it for later? Get back to the store? Uh, RC70 says, my deepest venture into Canada was going to watch a footbag tournament in Montreal. Footbag. <laughs> footbag <laughs> tournament in Montreal. That's hilarious. That just sounds very Canadian. <laughs> Like, we don't call it for that. No. But it sounds like <laughs> something that we would call. Uh, a hacky sack tournament in Canada sounds about right, though. Uh, oh, did I miss nope, it? Nope, you missed it. Uh, Keep a running. Keep a running. Just missed it. Must have been just off center. Perfect arc to get onto the escalator at, there the, is. at the right height. Yeah. It's, it's challenging to get. It. Bad time. That's what it's called. Yeah, we de deliberately went for tunes that were classics. Ragtime works. Yeah. Oh, it's the planes now. The best games are really smart about how they introduce new enemies. They do it one by one, so you're not overwhelmed and you kind of get to learn the new one. There. That was a pretty good jump. That was pretty good. So it's quite a bit before. So you're like, oh, I know the shopping carts, I know the balls. Throw you for a loop with the tall bouncing balls. I do not like the tall ones. You have to really figure out exactly where to duck for that one. Yeah. Levels 10 to 20 are in testing, so we're not far too done. Oh, nice. Excellent, excellent. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello. Oh, oh you're hello. covered in catnip. Oh, oh meow, he Damn says. It. Oh, what's wrong? Meow. Yes. Just, it's a tough life it for is kitties. It is a tough life for, for a cat. <laughs> Getting catnip and treats on demand. It's so rough. Oh my god, really? <laughs> Can't believe I hit the radio. I still got enough time to get it. Shedding. Shedding? Oh my shedding goodness. catnip or shedding, shedding fur? Shedding fur. Oh god. Thank you for subscribing, Atari1974! Good work, Yay. Officer Kelly. That's five more crooks back in the clink. You earned a promotion. Your merit timer now awards 150 points per week. Yeah, I'm so glad you enjoy. Look at that. Yes. Look at that artwork. I know. Love it. It looks so good. Oh, they escaped again. Five <laughs> more escaped. Five more run away. Oh, he's <laughs> after them again. That's how you stay in shape. But you have to offset that with donuts at the end of the day. <laughs> That's right. This board is so well done. Oh. That, I think, is the hardest enemy. <laughs> the bouncing <laughs> balls. Yes. It doesn't look like it would be, but it is. Oh, hi. He's purring. He's pretty oh, happy. Oh, good. He's pretty happy and high, I think. Oh. Yeah. Are you happy and high? I'm happy and high. <laughs> yes. Good kitty. Ooh, right on him. You are. Good timing up. Get him. Ooh, before that uh, airplane comes and smacks you in the head. Welcome, next life. Yay. Interesting fact on the Entertainer song, it had no words. Oh. To it until M Milton Burroughs sang it on The Muppet Show. What? Really? <laughs> I, I always, That's I never thought funny. it had words at all. Like, no, I didn't even know it. I mean, it never did until then, but. No. Oh. I what the words are. Bye. Oh my oh. gosh, he's so furry. He's so happy and high. Oh, he's, oh, he's chewing the Good job. Yeah. Good job. There's always an ulterior motive with that cat. I know. 
Yeah. Which, oh, why do you want up here? Oh! Oh, smack. It's like shiny. Smack. Shiny is why I want to be up here. Still got It's not too far away. Oh, God. 1974. When does this game come out? Um, <laughs> still a work in progress. Well, you said it's pretty soon. Pre pretty close, yeah. yeah. Look at that shopping cart oh, fly. God. Yeah. Somebody's pushing it. Oh, the oh, fast there, there, there. Ah! Missed it. <laughs> Oh, no. There. It's kind of just before the... Whoa, the backwards just ones. almost halfway. Ah! There are no backwards carts in the 2600 version, I don't think. Oh, no. they're so fast. Three times you have to wait for it. Yeah, slow you right down. Exactly where to stop. I I'm forgetting. forgot. I forgot. Like I, I remember. played it before. Once you get like used to where to stop, it gives yeah, you I do a lot too. more time actually to jump over them. And they're fast. The planes on the other hand, that's yeah. another story. Everyone that plays this, no matter what version, always jumps onto the escalator. Yeah. Once you figure out how to do that, yeah. I do not like those. See how far behind I am? From getting him. Nope. Yeah. I had to go to the go. top level though. Okay, next time you die, I think we need to move on because we've played oh, this yeah. for quite a while. True. It's hard to not just keep playing. I know, it's, it's fun. Very addictive. Oh, backwards playing. Ruh! It's like just before the middle nope, of the last. I've got game. you. Nope. Nope. You're mine now. Shed all over me. Job done. Job well done. Job well done. Yeah. Cat goals achieved for the day. Stop after this car. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> when it comes from behind, it's like. Ah. Yeah. Then you have to time it. Uh, oh, you can just make it. Da, 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 da. Yay! Okay. So, super fun. Of course, hard to Very tear fun. ourselves away from it. Yep. Next one is Mario Brothers. <gasps> Ooh. By Old Style. Da, 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 da. And wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait, it's a big game. There we go. Wario Brothers. Wario. Oh, Mario <laughs> Brothers. That is funny. It does say kind of Wario Brothers. Yeah. Now this is a two-player game. Once again, very nicely done, Muddy Funster. Yes, yes, I agree. Yes, I agree too. Yep. Um, are we doing the two players? Yeah, I think we, we are. Should. Oh. Press the button. And again. Now they've advanced way beyond this. Go to the custom and give ourselves lots of lives. Up. Up, 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 there. Custom. What? Move left and right. And then down, skill to easy. Lots of lives. Okay, now let's, yeah. Easy. Yeah. Whatever exist. easy is. They, everybody has their own names. Yep. Uh, yeah, keep it there. Okay. Okay. Press button. Where? Anywhere. Yay! So, yeah, he's, he's advancing a lot beyond this. So, but this is the newest one of 2021. No, sabotage. You're screwing ah! me over. What are you doing? Who am I? I am Luigi. Turning turtles oh, over. Oh, I'm trying not to. Here. Do it. Get him. Thank you. You have to cooperate. 
<laughs> Otherwise, it's chaos. Pure chaos. <laughs> so what's so fun about this game, you can really screw over your partner if you want to. So the music is done by Synth Papalooza. Bobby Clark on this one. Oh, no! <laughs> get him, get him, get him! This is more, more a co-op rotation. <laughs> yeah. A little bit. Yeah. This, this does get a little tight at times, because you're both trying to do... You also have your own scores. So that's what's <laughs> funny about this game, because... Hey! Oh. Oh, we're, we're cooperating. Whoever yeah, gets uh -huh. it is... is it's all good. Get it? See? I give some to you. <laughs> yeah, sure you do. <laughs> this is makes it a lot easier with two people. Except I'm really terrible. Nice. Was this the first introduction of Luigi? Maybe. Maybe? Do you think so? Oh, yeah, it's really early. So it must be. Is this the first Mario game? No, no, no. Or is Mar Mario's in um, Donkey, Donkey Kong? Kong? But he wasn't called Mario then. No. But he was so Mario. So technically, this is probably the first Mario game. Is it, though? Officially? Mm, I don't think so. I think there was something else before this for Mario. I am not up on my... Ah! You didn't bump him at all! I don't know! I'm running away! <laughs> Not, oh. not that it would have helped, because he needs two bumps, but don't come down. Don't come down yet. Don't come down yet. There. Ah! God, I thought it would have been close enough. No! He's hitting things. Hitting his hitting yeah. coins and hitting each other. I love the backwards jump. A little hard to do. You have to time it just perfectly. Hit him! Get him! Yeah. Mario Mario and Luigi Mario, the <laughs> Mario Brothers. Literally, that's his name is Mario Mario. Yeah, is it's it? It's so silly. Yeah. Oh. Get that fly. Get him. Get him. <laughs> Snuck in. Ow! <laughs> Ooh, backwards jump. Oh. <laughs> right on to me. Right on to me. Thank That's you. That's okay. Ah, you missed the timing. You get it? <laughs> Geez, the official Nintendo Mario history page doesn't even mention this game? Really? really? This is, like, massive. I thought it might have been on a Game & Watch. That's... Maybe. Uh, Luigi on a Mario... On a Game & Watch? Maybe. Possible. That might. That, that's what I was thinking. Oops. You pushed me up there. <laughs> get it. There you go. Thank you. And you get sixteen hundred. It doubles every time. Uh, get it. You get an enemy in a row. Those mm. eight hundred, sixteen hundred, thirty-two. But they have to be in quick succession, like in a row. I totally, where am I? I like totally. No, you knocked me down, and I didn't even did? realize where I was. Yeah. Uh, I was like, uh. get him. Slippy, slippy ice. Get oof, close. Woo! It's as if there's nothing between Donkey Kong and Super Mario Brothers. I don't know why they'd be embarrassed about this. Is that an official record? 
Ah, uh, no! Oh, oh my god. Oh, you ran him right into me. You're just standing. I know, I was. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to blame him. It is. So this is... Oh, we got frozen. This is kind of a mishmash of levels all kind of mushed together. Yeah, this is crazy. Because they're right? testing out... Oh, I forgot it was Luigi. Ah, run away! Oh, ah! Oh, I got hit by an icicle. Oh, one. my goodness. Yeah, I gotta watch the icicles. Ah, 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 ah! Ah! Run, run! Oh, I got hit by the... Oh my goodness, this is chaos. <laughs> the other levels, not so bad. This level, chaos. Yeah, the icicles. Oh. Oh, oh, I bumped you instead of him. Get that guy. Watch out for the two no. fireballs going. No, I think I'm dead. I'm dead oh. officially. It's oh, just you last now. Life. Oh, I've got one more. Oh. <sighs> that icicle is about to kill me. I got through that. That's crazy. Phase 13, pretty good. This is the furthest I've ever gotten on a double level, actually. Yeah, usually we kill each other. Usually we die <laughs> really fast. It's been much better than normal. Get over there. Turtles to kill. Ugh. Get up oh. there. Oh, they're gonna come up. Ah, uh, they're awake. I'm dead now, so it's oh. all you. Oh, damn it. Turn them on. Kick him! Kick. Get down there. Whoa, that was close. I fight. Pixel. Watch out. Oh, oh. it's coming down! Why? <laughs> it bounces around. Slip that. That. Slip ice is in too. Oh, old style! Welcome! Hello! This it is looks the developer. Great. I mean, great. we are we're playing an old oh. one, as I explained, because we have to. Because this is the award version. This is the D version. This is the one that uh, Oh, no. almost done. Almost done. Good run, though. Very good run. Damn it, this is this is going to be the end of me. Yeah. Uh, I know, no worries. Yeah, your, your new ones are... Mm, 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 so good. So good. Yes. Good job. It's a good run. Hey, hey, hey. Registered. I don't think you are. Hey, hey, hey. Registered. And thanks, Muddy. I think some of it's better than the arcade, but that's my biased opinion. Mm -hmm. oh, yes, the new slip ice is in, and it's looking yeah. good. So the last game of the night, and the last game for seventy-eight hundred, mm. is Penta. Was Pengo uh, by Twentieth Street Arcade? Daryl Ganther. Daryl, nineteen seventy. There was actually a third Mario Brother Giuseppe. <laughs> there was? Was he in something? Are you lying? Are you lying? Oh, Pango. So this... Revenge... Was done by... Ah, uh, there we go. Also, Paul Lay and Pat Brady, music mm. and music engine. So, Squash the snow beast. So this is the demo version. Okay. So... Can you play two players on the demo version? I see. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, go 2-2. Two, two. two players, two joysticks. Okay. So we'll both play. Trading off. Okay. Oh, my goodness. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot how to play. All these games are amazing, MK Smith. Okay, it's my turn. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yes. And the joysticks. song my favorite <laughs> um, they seem to be moving really fast is this easy level yeah it was on easy unless you accidentally no. switch it. but it's pretty fast maybe I played it in a while no mm -hmm. he's gonna run away mm -hmm. oh did you get him and popcorn Love the little quirks. Oh, we got some bonus. Yay. Ooh, a 
these guys to defeat. Oh, oh just got him. Got some money in there, hiding. Squish. Oh, let's plow through. Squish. Oh, God. They're so fast. Ah! Are you sure we're on novice? This is crazy. <laughs> I think it was on novice. Run! Oh, oh, you popped that one. Okay. Ah! 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 Yeah, you're ah, way faster ah, than them. I don't understand. It's really slow. It's really fast. Demo over. That's two lives. Crazy. You'll get better. We'll play that one. That seemed really fast. I don't recall it being this fast. I just haven't played it in a while. I guess so. Oh my god. See? Dead. <laughs> Mm, we'll check the title screen. Make sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, difficulty demo. There is only one difficulty. Oh, I that's see. Why. Okay, that's why. Yeah. It's, another round? Is this Lolo? No. It's Pingo! Yeah, another round. That was too quick. What was that? Wish him. What is going on? They're so fast. I do not remember them being this fast. It's, it's demo mode. I know. It's just so crazy. Oh, he's running. Hit the wall. Hit the wall. Remember the wall. I always forget the wall. Mother 3 says, all these ports are so good. Yes. Oh, yeah. Best of the best of the best. So, so good. Definitely download them. Give them all a try. Whoa, run. You walked like through two, through two of them. Hit the wall. I forget the wall. I always forget the wall. Yeah. Wall. Ah. <laughs> I always forget the wall. All the enemies in both games are so fast, it's hard to avoid them. Yeah. yeah. It's a great game. Oh. Penguin is so cute. They're com all coming right for you. It's <laughs> crazy. They're making a snow beeline for yes. me. Yes. Ah, ah. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> so I was going for the wall, but I should have. I should have done something else. Wall. They're yeah. like, they're like out for Pango blood. I, I, oh, have you beat me to that pun? <laughs> I, I think this is like on arcade level difficulty. Yeah, it is very hard. I'm pretty sure we played a version that was more novice, like maybe after well, this one came out. Well, we, we've, or were we've we always, playtesting? We've always had the playtesting. Oh, version, okay. That makes sense. So we usually play down the level. So maybe one yeah. above that, just so we can get through the levels and oh my god, and see and see the different levels. But it makes sense to have the demo version as a little bit harder, so people get yes get practiced at it. Yeah. And it's popcorn all the way. You can change the music with uh, difficulty settings, nice. maybe on the demo, maybe mm. not. He is so tired now. He gets really excited with the catnip and then he gets really sleepy. Ooh, two and one. Sleepy oh, cat. Sleepy yeah. I'm waiting for them to destroy it. Oh, God. We're lying on the wall. We're just saying hi to our cat. Yeah. <laughs> He's being very cute. He is. He's on a lump on the floor. Yeah. You can see his butt. You can see him. You can see him in the cat cam. Ooh, He's too. definitely a lot calmer than he was. Yeah. He's 
squish. Tried to get him on the wall. Mm -hmm. Money Fence says, I need to go to bed for I am here. Oh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, have Thank a good you night's for sleep. Thank you for staying up. Thank you for staying up. At least it's up. a weekend. Yeah. Maybe you don't, you can sleep in tomorrow. We're, we're very happy to show Bernie and Keystone Capers. So. Oh, they're awesome. Yeah, very good. Can't wait to watch the further development on them. Yeah. It's not too bad once you get used to the speed. Um, it's just that first to, to get through both of us off. Yeah. Oh, God. Squish. Yay, good job. So, good night, Lewis. Good night. Have a good evening, a good sleep. Oh, I'm definitely sleeping in. Oh, good. Okay. Well, we don't have to get up <laughs> at 6 a.m. or something good. crazy. You're, you're not going to have, like, uh, kids or grandkids jumping on you at, like, 6 in the morning. Jumping like on the bed. Yeah. <laughs> cats meowing for their breakfast. Yeah, um, He's no pretty cats. good. He's he... not bad. Oh, made it to the end. Yay, good Perfect job. Perfect ending. Excellent. There we go. <sighs> Playing so, with our beautiful Bratwurst controllers. The Bratwursts are so nice. They're so good. Um, Excellent so controllers. Thank you. And congratulations again to all the Atari 7800 Best Work in Progress Homebrew Original and Port nominees. All amazing All games. 12 of those all of them. games. All of them. So, so fun. So fun. Creative. Um, so much fun to play. Yep. So yeah, download really them all. Um, play them all. And get your votes in because there is three more days. Yeah. Did we watch? Did we see this opening oh, screen? Oh, we skipped it. Did we? This is <laughs> super cute. Wanted to get cute. to the game. Yeah. Super, super cute. There's a lot of effort put into these ports to make yes. them so faithful. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, so, let's go back to this. Mm. And then go back to the schedule. Um, so, yeah, get your votes in. Um, because there are not many days left. It ends on Sunday at midnight, mm. as in Sunday at 11.59.59. Sunday 59. this Sunday? Yeah, 11.59.59 wow. p.m. Pacific time. All right, Pacific. Pacific yeah, don't get messed of, up. of Canada. Yeah, because yep. it's just convenient <laughs> for me. Yeah. Um, it's very difficult to calculate everything in GMT, so I just make yeah. it. <laughs> Fair enough. Um... So get your votes in. Lots of votes are coming in. Are um, they? Yep. Yeah, they're yeah. flooding they're, in now? They're, they're picking up because I think people are, you know, taking the time to evaluate them. So they're picking up a lot more. Yeah. We vote now, now, vote, vote often. often. <laughs> no. um, well, vote in all the categories. So vote often in yeah, that way. Yeah. Um, so Sunday, what was that time again? Sunday, just before midnight. Midnight PST. Yes. Uh, let's go to the web page. Midnight PST. Um, so that's on the 6th. So you get tonight, okay. tomorrow, and the next day okay. to vote. So vote in as many categories as you feel comfortable. Um, and I guess my la game will be the last to be shown. Vitoko? Uh, yeah, yeah, your game is the very last one because it's in the last category. So there you go. <laughs> and that, oh, and yeah, we're doing we're a special Sunday. special Sunday stream. Yeah. It's not going to be late. It's going to be, um, is it noon? Yeah, we're going to be a noon show on yeah. Sunday, so that's the next show, because we want to fit in all the games before the voting is over, mm -hmm. so that people can see them on the show if they don't want to play them, mm -hmm. can watch us play them. Uh, we're going to be playing Atari 8-Bit, as you can see right here, Atari 8-Bit 5200 and Atari Lynx, and we'll be taking a look, in, look at the packaging, probably in between those two. Mm -hmm. um, and then... We're off until the Homebrew Awards. Yeah, we need a little bit of a break there to get everything together. The Saturday following on February yeah. 12th. Yeah. Uh, so Very watch excited. out for that. Yeah. Atari will be in his best outfit, his best gray suit. <laughs> oh, you're already wearing it. He's in his tweed suit. Yeah. I'm already building up some great, fun games after our break. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the exclusive world premiere of Raptor. Oh, yes. 
I don't know if I can reveal who it's by yet, but it's unbelievable. It is good. pretty un- Yeah. It's so good. Um, the exclusive final build of Ruby Q. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at 1942. It's been updated a lot since we last played it. Oh, cool. Um, we're going to be playing Wordle. There's a Wordle? There's a Wordle. <laughs> wow, yes. for the 7800? Yep. Interesting. Um, and I believe that's made by Money Funster. Oh, cool. Let cool. just make sure so I don't mess that up. No, M.K. Smith. M.K. M.K. Smith. Smith. Sorry, M.K. Smith. There we go. You just popped in there. Yeah, I just up. Oh, you just updated Wordle. Excellent, because yes. he was going to add in more words. I don't know anything about Wordle. I know people are playing it. Do you know the game Mastermind? Where you pick, you're just like, oh, which color in which peg? And then they tell you, oh, you've got this many in the right position, and you've got this many right, but in the wrong position. Okay, yeah. That game. Okay. But it's with letters. Oh, I and see. And there's five letters. Okay. And... And M.K. Smith did it on the 7800. Cool. Um, so that's on your day, because I know you love puzzle games, I and that's a lot of fun. Games. Yeah, And it's good. like a perfect conversion Excellent. of it to the 7800. There's an allowed list and an actual, actual wordle list. list. Gotcha. Because the allowed list is going to be bigger. It's going to be like really obscure words that yeah. not a, pop, a lot of people know. But how are you a cartridge insurer? You can only play one puzzle a day. Well, you have to leave your tw- 7800 on for 24 hours, and then it'll present you with a new one. No, <laughs> no, you don't have to. Uh, that would be I. I can't. S- you. What you could do is put a battery inside the cartridge when you release it. But how much fun would that be? Only being allowed to play one game a day, and being like forced yeah. to play one game a day. That'd well, be, couldn't you just use crazy. one like the plus card? Or I know that's not seventy eight hundred. Oh right? but, yeah, if somebody made it on the twenty six hundred, they can make a plus card version. And then every day you just release a new game. What? Yeah, it would go and search for that. Oh, somebody needs to make a 2600 version on the plus card. And it will download from the server the game of the yeah. day. And you just release one a day. So you could make a whole yeah. bunch, but you just only allow it to release one a day on the server. Yeah. In whatever format oh, or that's however brilliant. that works. So if somebody's And uh, ambitious, we'd have our our internet uh, 2600 games. You know, Wordle of the day. Con- yeah. You'd have the constant... Uh, yeah network dictionary server yeah 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 that's what it would be yeah that's super cool mm. yep or you could play it play it like a free-for-all as well because that would be kind of weird just one game a day oh i like one game a day. <laughs> i think that's cool i had to use a 128k cart to fit all the words whoa wow wow wow, wow. That's yep. big. um i don't need that anymore um <laughs> And we're going to be playing the update to Dragon's Havoc that we played today. Oh, yes. Excellent. So there'll be a lot more to that. Excellent. Banks. Wow. Um, And the day after that, we'll be playing Alien Exterminator. Mm -hmm. That's the one where you run along a little path and things shoot at you and you jump over them and they drop things. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 2600 game. That was a good game. Yeah. So he's finished it. Simple but good. Yeah, I like that game. We have the exclusive final build of it. Nice, nice. Yeah, I like that Um, And then Grizzards as well. Um, It's a kind of a Pokemon type RPG-ish game. Okay. It's quite expansive. We played it a long time ago, and I think it was with Darcy. So that'll be on your day, so you get to experience that game. So a lot of exclusives coming up after our break. That'll be a lot of fun. Six-digit score routines, pretty standard. May be modified to have colored blocks behind five sprites. Mm. I'm talking about the 2600 version because it's hard to display multiple things in a row but five things in a row is not too bad even six things in a row is not too bad um but altering colors gets a little bit more challenging Mm -hmm. but it's totally doable so there's a free game for somebody to work on i think (laughs) that would be really cool to have a server based one i think that would be and and if it's just sort of okay here's the puzzle for the day yeah i mean that hopefully wouldn't be too complex to to work out like well, they'd have to be back end, and I don't know if the Plus Store does that kind of thing, or if somebody would have to have it on their computer to update like a text file every day yeah. from their own computer. I mean, that's a possibility. Yeah, that's yeah. more like probably what's going to happen. I think so. Unless there's a back end that, unless 
it can check the date somehow. Yeah. And the dates are all on the server. And it just goes to that file corresponding with yeah. the so date. So you can only access one per day and based on the date. You could line them all up. Yeah. Like year, And then if you didn't ahead. do that date, you would have to host it yourself. <laughs> yeah. The library still has to be vast. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, you need 365 games, one for each day of yeah. the year. And then it would just cycle back through. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> As I'm talking, it's like, I have no idea how this works. So You've done uh, some programming. Well, I, this is the problem. A little bit of knowledge is worse than, than um, none at all. So Send um, it to the server yeah. to check. Hmm. Right. You could load up all the words locally and then just check what date corresponds yeah. to the word. Yeah. Um, that would be kind of neat. Yeah. And then you'd have to make sure they can't play it twice, though. What do you mean? Because then somebody could just go, I got it in one, and playing it through the second time, right? Mm. Yeah, round trip calls on every move. You just have a, just have a dumb client on the Atari. Mm. You could do it that way where everything's server-based, like mm -hmm. completely. Multiple ways to do it. I'm sure somebody might figure it out. But anyway, kind the seed just, is out there. It's a neat, it's just such a neat idea to me to have. Convert date to word index of words stored on the cart. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then prevent them from playing it twice. So you'd have to have some sort of storage to say you have played well, it you would just, today. You would have to say on the plus cart that you can't register a score more than once. So you only get to register your score once. Yeah. And the plus store, the plus cart has high score is storage yeah so they could say so and so got it in two two one, one yeah one and on it's based day. on your first try and then you can't put a second one on yeah because wi-fi to remote server is so much faster than 2600 <laughs> for a tiny amount of information it's it definitely fast yeah. enough the yeah. wi-fi so you would store it you would store it on the plus cart yep. server anyway so you could still say oh this is the first one registered you're done I'm not saying that people can't cheat things but that's not really the point no. yeah People can, but I don't think they will. No. People are pretty good in this yeah. community. No, I don't think that's the point, right? So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so that's it for us today. We'll be back on Sunday at mm -hmm. noon. So remember, you'll miss one game if you don't play every day. Exactly. So, oh, it could be a cumulative score, but early birds would no. benefit from that. That wouldn't be very fair. No, no cumulative. You get, no. to, you get it once and then that's it. So. Yeah. If yeah. you wipe it, you wipe everything. You start from scratch. <laughs> you miss again. a day, it's all zeros yeah. again. Well, no, you have to wait for that. Maybe you have to wait for that day to come around again. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so thanks for tuning in. <laughs> Fitoko, B.R. Pocock, yeah. Carl G., M.K. Smith, Mother 3, Nostalgic, Carl G., Dan FC, Atari 2600 Dude, Ivory Tower Collections, Old Style, Muddy Funster, M.K. Smith, uh, Analog 1975. I want to read about Giuseppe. He's the old co-worker of Mary Luigi when they used to get rid of sidesteppers and shells creepers in the sewers. Giuseppe still works as a plumber along with his cousin Pas Paciano. Paciano. He is baby Mario and baby Luigi's uncle. uncle, a good friend of Mary Luigi. <laughs> Well, there Mother is a baby three. Mario. That's, that's quite a that's quite a, a extensive backstory. Wow. <laughs> uh, uh, who else is in this list? Is in this list? Marco Yohannes. Um, Atari 1974. It's crazy. First time chat from Atari 1974 and Atari 1974 subscribed, subscribed in the same show. That's Very amazing. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you. Maybe they were lurking the whole time before. I don't know. Ivory Marco Tower Yohannes, Con Ivory Tower Collections. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Thank you, see Carl G. I don't know who you've said and who you haven't. Uh, uh, see if anybody got in just so before. So many people. Oh, Mike's Metal all. Lunar. Charles Whelan. Yay. <laughs> just got in. Yeah. And Fitoko, if I haven't said that. Yeah. So thanks once again. Yeah. Um, and yeah, we'll be back on Sunday. Sunday? Noon Pacific time. Yes, yes. To finish off the rest of the games yes. that have been nominated. So that'll be a lot of fun. We get to, well, we get to play Lynx on the emulator. And we'll be playing as many games as we can on the Atari 8-bit, except for the really big ones. And then we'll play them on an emulator too. So mm -hmm. be a lot of emulators. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so have a good weekend and mm -hmm. we'll see you in a couple days. Vote, vote, vote. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.